Let's go. Okay. Can't you hear? Everyone's cheering for you, Luca. Is he now ready? To face him. Good on you, kid. <gasps> What's going on? Am I dead? It's nice. So yeah, we have Link Shell and the War Dance. Wow. There was a second that I thought this wouldn't happen, but I guess here we are. After what was it, like seven 70 something pulls later? Right, now I can finally get past this cutscene. Yeah. Because 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 I was qualified to participate? Isn't that Luca? Why is he here on the Lafu? Why not? Luca! Didn't expect to see you here. Blazer? Why are you here? That's what I'm saying. What a coincidence! I'm here to compete! Um, though I really doubt I've got any chance at winning. <laughs> are you a friend of Mr. Lucas? Allow me to introduce myself. I am an interastral peace entertainment journalist in training, Carmella. I was supposed Damn. to follow Mr. Lucas to cover the war dance together. Why is, why is I had a camera? <laughs> to to. So, the tasks of interviewing the popular contenders and producing the special program fell on my shoulders. Oh, these are huge responsibilities. I've been interning for so many years. If I screw this up, I doubt I'll ever get the chance at a full-time role. Ooh, the IPC sure is harsh. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah, but like your head is a camera. That's like something. To mentor me. That I could sell. As I get some shots that'll shock and awe, I'm sure I'll be able to clinch a full-time job this year. I can sense the potential of a juicy program just through Luca alone. <laughs> really? I'm not so sure about that. Why did I choose to participate in the war dance? It's a long story. You two, let's take a walk. I can tell you all about why I'm here on the way. Oh. I am walking. Oh, we were going back. Okay. Nat, I... How long do I have left? Right. Not long, Luca. Best brace yourself. <laughs> Oh, he did like funny angles. He really does want to go away. You're already at this stage. Just eat whatever you like. Well, that won't do. I can't be gorging on garbage at this pivotal moment. It'll ruin my energy levels. <laughs> I know. You can't wait to join the finals of the Bellabog representative qualifiers. But Japard isn't a pushover either. Oh, it's him and Jabbar fight. Hard at work studying how Mr. Jabbard moves. And he won against Jabbar. Just wait and see. I'll defeat Mr. Jabbard and be the first Bellabug fighter in 700 years to qualify for a competition in space. You know, that's Loki insane. That Luca beat Jabbard. I feel like. I don't I got this stage with the light sticks. Ah, these were good times. And Pela. Luca, you've always had leg hook. Shimmer, the whole gang. A weakness. Ah, by Lobo, man. Stronger than you. So remember, Scary Lobo Six. Punches. Master, been telling me that the entire trip. My ears are about to fall off. Fine, enough prattle. But don't let the need to win weigh too heavily on you either. Even if you don't make it to that Cianjo Lofu, 
You've made it to the final to fight okay. against Jabari. He said that That's correctly. Why do they have to misspell it like he said incorrectly? Uh, yeah, he didn't say correctly, but like he said it well enough, I feel like. That was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, you sure got some daydreams on you, little one. Yeah, but Hook should go. Master Oleg and Pitch Dark Hook the Great. I'll win this for sure. Why is he calling Hook that? That's kind of crazy. Kid, you've really got to stop making promises to children. Hey, what she said? You absolutely cannot lose. You promised to take me up to visit the San Joe Lofu. Kid, you've really got to stop making. Uh, they're saying it like every American says it. That's funny. Wait, how can I? Oh yeah, this button. I want to turn this up a little bit. The voices. Bro, look, I haven't used this guy in a while. Mr. Jepard, I've always been hoping to fight you. There's no one in the overworld more worth challenging than you. I'm honored. I've also been raring to witness the strength of the legendary Luca Strongarm. Uh, I'm not great at conversation, so it's a good thing we're both warriors. We don't have to use words to understand each other. Well said, Luca. Let your determined desire for victory speak through your fists. Our position is solid. Yeah. Just getting started. Step out of it. Okay. This ends here. So how do we win this? Don't get cut. It ain't looking too great. Is that all you got? Resistance is futile. Small fry. Step out of it. Our position is so yeah, we're talking. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! In the name of preservation! Okay. Lost. Mr. Jepard, you were better than me. Okay, that's why I fought. Yeah. Luca, there wasn't ever any doubt in your technique and strength. But you were too concerned with winning. And that prevented you from unleashing... Well, it's like, oh, here's my wisdom. Uh, blah, 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 talk. What am I doing here, if not to attain victory? That's a question you need to ask yourself. From my experience... A person's inner voices make far too much noise, especially so during safe and quiet moments. Ironically, the voices that truly matter often become audible only in moments of pain, discomfort, and peril. When perhaps you leave your cozy hometown and head to the unfamiliar Law Fu, you will find your answer. Hold on. When I reach the Law Fu? But you won. I mean, he's the general, he can't just like leave. Told, I can't yeah. just drop my work and leave Bellabong. Makes sense. My reason for coming to this martial tournament was to verify if you were good enough to contend against competitors from other worlds. And now I see you're good enough. You're younger and more upbeat than I am. A far more appropriate image for Bellabog. Don't forget that the reason we're participating in the war dance is also to promote Yurillo 6 to the rest of the cosmos. Luca. I'm entrusting the chance of attending the war dance on the Sienjo Law Fu to you. Mr. Depard, please don't pity me. Chances must be earned fairly through our own strength. Yeah, but like Jepard literally can go. <laughs> you are mistaken, Luca. It is not pity. I am lending you this victory. And you will repay me by winning the war dance. I hereby announce that the contender who has earned the right to represent Bellabog in the war dance is... A bug. Oh, you're six is such a vibe, man. I don't know if it's just like nostalgia or what. Understood, Mr. Kind of crazy. Chin up. 
Let's go. We should head to Klopoff Fort and meet with the Supreme Guardian. Amber, look at getting all the treatment. Hello, Luca. Uh, Lady Bronya. Uh, Bronya. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry, I grew up in the underworld, so I'm not versed in etiquette of any sort. No need for formalities. You probably know nothing about the La Fu. The place you're heading to, correct? Let us take this opportunity to discuss it. I've always been a little curious. Though your She's level like six has restored higher. contact with the outside world, like her pitch. I've always just been communicating with the IPC. Then I remember. Why are we suddenly participating in this fighter Such a long time ago, who knows? Place? Not long ago, Bellabog's interstellar comm space resumed operations. A month ago, we received an invitation with a highly distorted signal. The Sienjo Lafu cordially invites Yarillo Six's warriors to join the war dance. We've just resumed outside contact, and the way the IPC describes it, the cosmos has long forgotten us. Why would the Sienjo so eagerly send an invitation to a city that is been buried in time. Or it's because of us. My guess is that it's because we had communications with many worlds before the Eternal Freeze. Luca, have you heard of the story of Igor Haft? Oh, you mean the legendary warrior? Of course I have. I'll never tire of the story where he led the Eighth Iron Legion and engaged in a furious battle against invaders from beyond the sky. That's him. When the Eternal Freeze subsided, Linksy, uh, <clears throat> Lynx took the opportunity to explore the ruins of the ancient city That's of right. Maslenitsa. A few months ago, she found a lone grave outside the public graveyard. Wow. The grave had no body, just a robot arm and a cracked pendant with an embedded gemstone. An IPC worker said that the arm was tech from the old world. As for the stone, it's a Sienjo implement called a Jade Abacus. Oh. I heard about that. Miss Lynx thinks it's Igor's grave. That's right. The epitaph on the tombstone confirms that hypothesis. The fighter Igor Haft once left Eurelo 6 before the invasion, and then he returned home to join the resistance against the aggressors. I had to cheat that because that's no like one knows that's what he big. did after he left Eurelo 6 and why he decided to come back. <sighs> Maybe Igor had been to the Shinzo? That's why they sent us an invitation? Maybe Igor even attended the war dance. The Shinzo people have long lives, so it wouldn't be something that happened long ago for them. Long story short, regardless of why the Shinzo Alliance invited us, joining this war dance is of august meaning to Bellabog. It symbolizes a chance to introduce ourselves to the cosmos once again. A heroic kingdom that survived both the Legion and the Eternal Freeze with tenacity. Also, if we can leverage this opportunity to establish an okay. amicable exchange yeah. with the Sienjo Alliance, it may provide us with more bargaining power when dealing with the IPC. Lady Branya, I'm not well educated, so I don't really know such matters of grandiosity. All I know is that I must achieve glory for Bellabog. Well said. Oh, I almost forgot. Zila had other matters today and couldn't attend today's meeting, but she entrusted no. me to deliver a message. No, Zila. Come on, man. What's that Dolt Japard up to now? Luca, you better fight like your life is on the line. If you lose, I'll make sure you wish you were really dead. Sounds like Sila. The next day, I hitched a ride with an IPC transport vessel and arrived on the Shinzo Lord. I'll go think you run away, otherwise Sila. The Supreme Guard will be on his ass. That the younger generation can go out and see other worlds. So, she arranged for Lynx and Hook to accompany me. Wait, Sila is probably not that much younger than Anjapard. Nothing about interacting with other I feel like they're that much older than Luca. <laughs> she even instructed Sparog to tag along and be our guide. What? I never thought that, while we were processing our entry papers at the Skyfaring Commission, we would run into another surprise. Svarog is here. Oh no. We've double-checked. 
This invitation did indeed come from the La Fu, but after checking the stamp, this invitation was dated 400 years ago. Oh. 400 years ago? How is that possible? We just received this invite not too long ago. We can assume that this invite was delayed in transmission and only reached us after the restoration of communications. I'm afraid this Arumaton is right. You received an what did you call him? That is four hundred years late. How do you disrespect Savaro like that? So we weren't invited. Oh no. This trip has all been for nothing then. How am I going to explain this to Lady Branya and Mr. Japard? If high hopes for me. Is Jing Yuan gonna overhear this? The thing that we should be considering first is not emotions, but if How are they gonna get in? Are not invited guests, then we will be responsible for all costs incurred while staying here. Conclusion: We cannot afford it. You all misunderstand. The Xianzhou La Fu is indeed hosting a martial arts competition called the War Dance. Whether you receive an invitation or not, anyone who wants to can register to compete in the War Dance. The sole distinction is that invited guests, upon qualifying through a test, get to partake in the prestigious Ringmaster's Challenge, facing off against the Xianzhou Lafu's Ringmaster. As for ordinary contestants, they will have to participate in knockout stages and rise through the ranks to reach the ultimate stage of the Ringmaster's Challenge. To challenge the Lafu's Ringmaster? That's the ultimate goal for all the contestants? Hmm, that's right. Although you didn't receive an invitation, you can still participate in the war dance. You'll definitely uh, have a chance to win and gain honor. But Mr. Svarog has a point. According to calculations, we can't afford this. <laughs> Money can't buy relationships. This invitation that's been delayed for 400 years oh? must be a marvelous twist of fate. And since fate has brought you all here to the La Fu, we will not fail in our hospitality. Please be assured that I will report this incident and ensure that the Bellabog representative team receives the same accommodation and treatment as all other esteemed invited guests However, why is she saying like that mr luca you will still have to participate in all the knockout stages and work your way up to the final stage really at your expense why does he just have a belt around his neck like come on brick it's <laughs> all about celebrating <laughs> martial oh arts God. and fostering friendships my friends Okay. How could we possibly Which girl is putting a leash on that? That's crazy. Lodging. Thank you, Miss Chikwe. I'll treasure this opportunity. And just like that, by the grace of Miss Chikwe, I didn't die before achieving success. I just learned this old Shenzo saying a few days ago. Now I've successfully become a competing fighter in the war dance. Hell yeah. Luca, you are absolutely radiating with newsworthiness. I've decided to follow you and report on your progress throughout the competition. <sighs> if only everything were as smooth as when it started. If I had participated in the competition these past few days, I wouldn't be so anxious right now. What was the first match? It's been days since I've registered. I haven't participated in a single match yet. Today's my first one. But forget about competing. I feel like I'm struggling with just normal everyday life. I'm already halfway into the realm of needing help with daily activities. We have Sparrow though. Why don't people accept shields? You can pay for things by just swiping a gemstone trinket? Why doesn't anyone look their age? I approached this girl with pointy ears to ask her for directions, and I called her little girl, and she got mad. She said she was over 340 years old. So now, 
I'm even afraid to talk to people. Oh, and meals. I'm really not used to the food on the Shenzo. Yesterday, I ate a bowl of chili oil beef offal stew for dinner. And today, I've been blowing up the toilet with my flaming rockets. Ooh. <laughs> I feel ya, Luca. I, I also can't get used to the food on the Sienjo. Miss Carmella, you can't get used to the food either? Uh, well, not exactly. I it's because I'm an intelligent. Right. She's the robot uh, person. I so that's why she has a camera sorry. head. Please continue. You know, Anyways, what do you realize? Like, because she's speaking like oh, time in my I life, I felt so useless. I feel this is the first time like a female in Taylor like, had a voice. I just don't know something. Um, Thank you for comforting me. Actually, I did do some mental preparations. It's my first time going out to the world, but I didn't expect it to be so overwhelming that I can't keep my footing. Where are your Bellabogian buddies? Lynx went on an archaeological escapade. She wants to try to learn about Igor's history before he returned to Urillo 6 with that gemmed pendant. Oh, Sparrog took Hook out to play. He's really good with kids. I'm so irate okay. and I'm about to start my first match. I'm in worse shape than ever. The next opponents are several Cloud Knights. Oh, they're like the Silvermane here. Oh, why am I explaining this to you? You should know better than me. I'm the only one who doesn't know anything. Why not check out who your first opponent is before the competition starts? It's better than wallowing here, as it'll just make you more anxious. <sighs> Thanks for talking to me and cheering me up. Sure, I'll head off and meet my first opponent. Luca has regained his energy. Fool health revive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it time for the event? Those are my opponents for my first match. Oh my god, this is so shy. <laughs> That's crazy. Huh? Are you here to watch our match? The this coincidence. Luca. Hello everyone, I'm Luca. And I come from Bellabog. I'll be exchanging fists with you guys in the ring. I, I hope we'll be able to take this chance to become friends. Bellabog. Oh, I think Ologoy mentioned it before, but... I can't seem to remember. What kind of place is it? I'm let's sell it. Oh, I love hero stories. Tell me more when you have time. It's okay if you haven't heard of us. I'll make sure the whole cosmos remembers Bellabog's name with my fists. Oh, yeah. In that case, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Oh, Sushong used an idiom. I'm the journalist who's reporting on Luca. I it's fine. Just, just chill. Like you always do and ignore me. Yeah, let's see. I know I'm what that is, right? For material. I'm smart. Are you here to join the tournament with Mr. Luca? That's right, I'm scared. Afraid. Uh, let me see. If your name isn't on the list. Are you Luca's coach then? Don't worry. The iron arm on this red-haired boy looks like it's got power. Definitely capable of taking down a kid with one punch at a time. Ah, uh, but we're not kids. The Cloud Knight's tactical creed is to complement one another and overwhelm with numbers. That's called a united front. Got it? My strategy. Uh, sorry. It's my first time participating in the war dance. I'm the only one in my team, so I don't have any strategy to speak of. It appears our otherworldly friend requires some enlightenment. How about this? The match is starting in an hour. I'll give you some real-life tactical pointers in the ring. Sleepy Sushong, that's over the line! You were supposed to be our coach when we invited you here. How could you run off to the opponent's corner? It's just... our friend from afar requires some assistance, that's all. Don't we Cloud Knights also earnestly I mean, help you know, these Cloud Knights, they're not wrong. Like, why is she so... Travelers we encounter on our daily patrols? Like, helping us. Ah, it'll be your fault if we lose. True. Enough chit-chat. Get back to your prep. I appreciate it. Thank you, new friend, whose age I won't try to estimate. We're heading back to the lounge. 
see you in the ring. You know, I that's true. So the coach How old is my opponent for my first match? Is too shunned. Tactical advice in the ring? I am bewildered by the Shenzo people's hospitality. Huh, you're right. There are many good people here. This is your first match, Luca. You're bound to win. Yay. Early. <sighs> Luca, you're gonna be fine. You're the boxing champion of Bellabog. The Clown Knights. Aren't they just the silver main guards? I'm pretty confident of my odds against them. Except Mr. Chapard. Luca, you're the best. You're not gonna lose. Go get him. Luca. Ready for your first match? I think I more or less, maybe, perhaps, I'm ready. Luca, have more confidence in yourself. All right. So in the match, we need to display the martial prowess. At two sides, we need to vibes. Achieve highlights in the match, get a massive amount of vibes. Okay. Sure. Oh, this reminds me of that. Like, there was an event like this. Damn, that's a team. Here's break effect. Wow. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Newcomer debut. Ooh, and whether or not your world wow. He's actually voiced. Good afternoon and good evening. I'm your good buddy out. That's crazy. Welcome. Welcome everyone to the War Dances Knockout Stage brought to you live. I didn't think he was gonna like be here. Presenting the two corners of this match, we have the Lil Foos Cloud Knights, Lil Gwen Support Association. What kind of name is this? <laughs> and representing the city of Bellabar. Uh, Sushan and Gunaifene. Eh? Between these two groups of contenders, who will emerge victorious? We wait with bated breath. Come at us, Mr. Luca. My team will show you the prowess of the Cloud Knights formation. Nah. Nope, I'm not about to suffer in pain. It's much easier being a coach. <laughs> of course, being a spectator is the easiest. Well, Gwei's up there in the stands right now, watching us duke it out from her vantage point. Oh, she's such a baddie. Okay. Hear that, everyone? <laughs> Where Gwei is somewhere in the audience watching us. Yeah. Brothers, we mustn't disappoint our little Gwei. Such a baddie, right? If I lose, All right, she is, though. those people dear to me will be disappointed too. <sighs> Looks like we have to give it our all. Ooh, if the Cloud Knights fail, little Gwei will be disappointed. If the Cloud Knights win, our friends from Bellabog will be disappointed. <laughs> no matter the ending, disappointment inevitably awaits one party. <laughs> oh, welcome to the cruel world of competition. For little Gwei, okay. form up! <laughs> Let me remind you, on the war dance stage, the atmosphere of the spectators is very important. Show off your flashy moves and make the audience cheer for you. I'm guessing, like, the thing that will increase vibes the most is, like, breaking. Do we still have the upper hand? Uh, okay. Don't get cocky. Brothers and sisters, it's time for us to show off our when an opponent's avatar brings her taking action will increase the opponent's vibes. Oh, I like to, like the blue and red to show you like the vibe. 
That's pretty cool. I need to break someone, bro. Come on. yourself you can fight it or rock with it Suppress. turn it up <laughs> component damage <laughs> enemy data secure Netmarker factor. Typer could have Creation. Yeah, what? Am I hallucinating? What is going on? Enemy data secure. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. I survived all to want to break them. Step out of it. That was a mistake. I should have done. What am I doing? Nap time. Ready for another? That's it. Ooh, isn't able to deflect the cloud that's attack. Been down once again. The opponent is not leaving the any opening for losing. Nullify the opponent's offenses. Is not but your action is advanced. Wow. Damn. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Enemy data secure. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! Fly. Step out of it. Commencing support. Ready for another? <laughs> just a little something. Think nothing of it. Why don't I just heal a little, I guess? Ready to jam. That'll take more than medicine. Nap time. <gasps> Enemy data secure net mark. Oh, you affect the reds? <laughs> Wait, did I not trigger the dots? Why? Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or yeah, I'm look at words. Just, Just a little something. Think nothing of it. <sighs> Ready to Enemy jam. Enemy data secure. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks. Fly. Ready to lose your son? You can fight it or rock with it. That's so cool, man. 
name. And the winner is Luca Stronga! Who would have thought a rookie champion? Okay, so that was supposed to happen, like me losing. So I was playing bad, but I was supposed to, you know, reach that point. So no, by playing bad, I reached it faster. Something feels off. Right? What is Something like that. Me? I feel a little strange. I just saw those cloud knights grow fangs and claws. Like yeah, I wonder what's up on this guy. Hey, show a little sportsmanship. You've already won. So what's with the insults? Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I just feel like everything I'm seeing is a hallucination. Are you too stressed out? When I was younger, every time before the day of exams, it also seemed like my textbooks grew fangs and talons, as if they were demons. Uh, your situation is clearly different. If you're too stressed out, how about a bottle of Sweet Dream Soda? This is the Cienjo version of Soul Glad, and it helps you sleep better too. Grab some Sweet Dream Soda. A sweetness that's bound to last. <laughs> You know, it doesn't have the same kick as the, like, the Soul Glad ad thingy slogan. Uh, <laughs> I was in charge of outsourcing Soul Glad's ads during my sixth internship period. <sighs> Some of it might have turned into a mechanical reflex. Your sixth internship period. Bro, that sounds sad. I feel much better. I'm very sorry if I said anything rude just now. I really think those cloud knights are a uh, cut above the rest. Uh, excessive compliments can seem disingenuous if overdone, pal. We're just your typical rank and file. In terms of martial prowess, the Who's average that voice? cloud knight appears That's to be in the most elite Silvermane squads. Uh, your praise is making me all confused now. Wait, could it be that? We're actually pretty strong. Okay, well, that is just dumb. Loki. Those cloud knights said they were just ordinary soldiers. They were tough as heck, and yet they're just the Lofu's most ordinary fighters. <laughs> Urillo 6 has been isolated from the cosmos for so long that I'm clueless about things everyone else takes for granted. Forget strength. Even the gap in everyday knowledge isn't something I can get past overnight. But no matter how wide that gap is, I must wield my fists. I must fight and I must win. Uh, right now, Lady Bronya, Master Oleg, and Zila, all the and people Zila. who stayed in Bellabog are working day and night to keep it up and running. That's an interesting uh, comment. Mr. Depart placed his faith in me. And Sila. With the chance to represent Bellabog. They're just best friends, right? I cannot disappoint him. Any of them. I must offer nothing less than victory. So, I would like to officially ask you to be my coach. Because you're strong, and you know plenty of strong people. When you were pretending to be my coach in the last match, you were a great help. Oh yeah. I want to bridge the gap between myself and that advance world. forward was nice. Trailblazer, will you help me? Thank you, coach. I'll do my best to keep up and train seriously. <laughs> Such a burning friendship. Don't don't do this to me, guys. My my camera. <laughs> to assist you you'll both become the most legendary coach and fighter team there is and i'll create a special feature that will finally bag me that permanent role oh man miss carmella why is your dream making me tear up too uh, uh, enough about me i'll brief you on the rules for the next match first sure. let's go what's up there's not just been out through with tactics boards. Yep. Uh, not 
blah blah blah, give you a brief, blah blah blah. Okay. Let's look at it. The schedule. So as the final target. You must defeat the ringmasters. Hello. And we earn enough points for the knockout. I think knockout points. Okay, to challenge Topaz, sure. Tactics. Well, I was gonna for you under an effect period after every attack. Attack all enemies that may hit one time and inflict startled. Increase damage taken by 5%. This effect can stop four times. Okay. And no beverages. More dance. Plodit. Okay. Cool. And these are like the rewards. Hunt? I have for face shower, I guess, right? <laughs> I've already built my face shower, man. Insane. Okay. Fight for points. Defeat these knockout match opponents and obtain points. Choose your context uh, desired, blah blah blah. Fantastic botany and where to find them. Iron Shield Gigantus Shieldus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, let's fight Shieldus then. Gigantus Shieldus. That doesn't like a person's name at all. That we're not familiar with. They probably have a strange name. Only true matters when you step onto the arena. See if this iron shield is over my iron arm. Sure. Counter enemy attacks to gain a massive amount of vibes. Interesting. I'll tell me these characters are good. <laughs> yeah. They're something. Let's do something like this then. Uh, yep, yep. I guess Ting Yoon. Just because she's OP. And Robin. Just because she's OP. Okay, now. Here we go. Okay. Look at from us an actual gigantus. Gigantus shieldus. We're in trouble now. Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> I see. So that's how they did it. Stench dissipate quickly. Time to cleanse the field. Oh, uh, here stands the Silvermane God. Can we Not talk? A step back. Oh, here stands the Silvermane God. A thousand wonder. <laughs> Fight is one. Uh, right, you could have waited I like want one to more second. Silvermane 
Hey, why is she faster than like than Ting I thought Ting would be able to go. And you're at a skill point. I guess I'm stupid. I don't know. As you command. As you command. The truth burns everything in this world. It's bleeding. Why are you attacking her? to purge the root of the problem be of your body and mind get it get it you're a stubborn one the truth everything in this world is bleeding i hope for an end to strife in the world Breathe. That's crazy. Or the damage boost. I mean, bro, I'm gonna like kill these guys before the like the hype thing even goes off. Made the foul stench dissipate quickly. for the hype okay or maybe stop spending so much time on my weapons and actually train yay what do you feel is okay yeah, it's pretty chill. Next one. Whoa, what buttons am I... Fuck. <laughs> Let's press some random buttons. Next.
Once you suddenly it becomes more abundant. Oh no, Sanctus Medicus. Not again. Ooh. You want to Jade Hertha? I hear you. More follow ups. Now with Jade. Hello, sponsors are pretty. Why are you so instant talking to the plants? <laughs> hey, what? She's the plant. Okay. Hey, okay, I get it. That's fine. Look, a VIP. Don't let me down. Entangle! Just a graze. To my heart's content. I hope for an end to strife and the rest of all together. May the foul stench dissipate quickly. Yeah. What are you looking at? Yeah. Punish me. <laughs> the object. Yeah. The deep of his son, though. The truth. For everything in this world is bleeding. Time to twirl. Bending the rule. Even in. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. You need to check for my help. Wait, I'm stupid. Have a deal. There's no backing up now for me or you. Time to twirl. Who's the little backstabber? <laughs> Allow me to. Yeah, I was planning to use it. Don't worry. Be of your body and mind. May song bring us victory. Tonight, stars echo. You're dead. Time to twirl. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. It's all yours. Bending the rules. Honored to meet me. May the foul stench dissipate quickly. Time to twirl. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to no Super hype. Opponent is weak and as broken, will take 400% more damage. Bending the Here we go. The truth for everything in this world is bleeding. Time to twirl! I mean, I should have used Jade to get the debuff, but I forgot. There's no backing up now, for me or you. Who's the little backstabber? You know, I just saw an ad on Instagram. They were like a, advertising Jade as a character in Honker Star, and they give they put some shots in that front of the trailer and everything. Like, damn, she's a character. Around the awkward and the ring. Nice. After fighting in so many knockout stages, I think our points should be enough. Time to head to the Sky Splitter's leaderboard to confirm her ranking. Wait, why don't you just TP me like last time? Oh, I see. Who's that guy? About it, coach. Let's get ready to challenge some powerful opponents. Okay, time to get fired up. I'm sure Let's Luca remembers to Topaz, right? Already a few matches have gone by in the blink of an eye. Have you gotten used to the situation, Luca? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, uh, I have, but. 
the hallucinations are getting stronger. Could there actually be something wrong with me? Can Ultra Shock, Ultra -shock really cause such strong hallucinations? It's possible. There was a scholar from the Intelligentsia Guild who wished for an audience with the erudition, no matter the cost. But he, he went mad the instant he laid eyes on Noose. Ooh, the minds of organic life forms are very fragile. Uh, you're starting to scare me now. <sighs> Good thing I've got plenty of youth left to burn. I can't falter now. The next match is going to be crucial. And my opponent is... Uh... I guess you can call her an old acquaintance. I guess I did. He's gonna say she's an old friend of his from back yep. home. Me and the IPC brass, super old friends. Oh, Miss Topaz is the cutest among the ten stone hearts. Oh, I like her. Sure. I mean, no offense, yeah. Miss Carmela, but I'm not keen on the IPC. They nearly turned my home into an asset that could be. Bundled and sold. Mr. Luca, the IPC is a megacorp. It's easy to pin labels on people, but at the end of it, everyone we meet is living flesh and bones with feelings. I I'm also an IPC staff. Yeah, Topaz is great. Do you hate if you get past the whole IPC thing. I spoke out of turn. Please forgive my rudeness, Miss Carmela. You're right. You're right. I should find out what kind of person Topaz is for myself. All right. Let's check it out. I'll pick those up later. Leave. Okay, the X wasn't working. Hmm, Topaz, the IPC's participating representative. Honestly, I don't really hate her. But I have a certain instinctive wariness of those bigwigs from the IPC. No, I can't let that fear control me. She's my opponent. So I wonder what's happening with you with the hallucination. Strength. I can't lose to her. Luca, are you ready to fight? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm also ready to record some footage. All right. It's Topaz. Advance forward, a or an a tactical beverage. Sure. Ooh, Acheron. They want the the defense down version, so the dot version. Okay, I can do that. Let's use Fushuan and Jiao Cho. Okay, now I need to equip her things again for the tenth time. Yay. And this. And then where's that chess piece? This one. I think right, that was the best one. Yep, it was. And then these shoes. And then she's already wearing those things, which are OP. Like, oh no, no, you, I need to give you the broken kill back. Is that one with speed? Yeah, this one. I just give silver for my speed as possible. Was the effect hit rate? 120. I don't remember what she wanted. I think that's fine. Something like that. 150 speed, sure. I don't think it's that deep anyway. Okay. You can just do whatever. Face of match. Next in the ring, 
Two competitors with a deep-seated rivalry. The atmosphere is already charged with tension before the first punch has even been thrown. You can feel the fireworks are about to explode in the blue corner. Representing Team Bellabog, Luca Stronga in the red corner. It's the liquidation specialist of the Every time. Peace Corporation, Topaz the Debt Retriever. God damn Topaz. Who would have thought the people of Urillo 6 would start making waves in the cosmos? It's a pleasure to see you here at the war dance. I'm really looking forward to this match too, Miss Topaz. This is a great opportunity for us to showcase our Bellabogian pride to you. Why are you going to participate? This is a momentous event that only happens once every few Amber eras. The IPC regards the Sanjo Alliance as Really? Even event. after everything that happened? Didn't I see your team Bellabog's coach, which really surprised me. The Astral Express helped mediate Bellabog's debt previously, and now you're assisting them in the war dance. <laughs> When a child is growing up, they need to learn to find their own footing in the world. They're my best friends. The Bellabogians have always lived under difficult conditions. We children already knew our path forward long ago. <laughs> a lofty proclamation. I harbor no ill will towards Bellabog. I merely wish to see if, uh, after evading that debt crisis, the people of Bellabog can truly stand on their own. If we rely too much on the charity of major influences to help us overcome hardships, they will never truly become free, but rather remain a servant under the illusion of freedom. The people of Bellabog have never been servants! I apologize. Just speaking my mind. It appears I've ruffled some I'm feathers. Surprised she's stage, like talking Bellabog. Like about Bellabog. Like, wasn't she like said it. really Let's good go. friends with Bronya and stuff? And like, she like, that's why she gave up the debt. But that doesn't mean we'll go easy on you. Trickier to crack. Time for a bug. Anyway. How about letting the enemy strike for a little more heat? Goodbye. Those who can knock down Luca, I'll be sure to give you an excellent score in your performance evaluation. No. Nope. Let's roll, people, for our performance evaluation. I'm honored by your sense. You're already here. How about no? have a meal before I do. Converge and awaken. Another turn. I weep for the departed. I weep. It too shall fall. This combat needs a <laughs> like, that silver wolf voice line when she gets hit. It's a interesting one. You know, I think fire is good. It's Keep on this game. No More season. Quick divination. Maybe Linksha would have been better. Whoops. I weep for the departure. Why she get her ulti? I didn't even notice that. It too shall fall. Free will, or was it fate? Destined for oblivion. More heat. I'm honored, but since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? This combat need hm. this is double speed. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. <laughs> now we're talking. I didn't even use it like that. Book. Looks like Topaz is prepared to take to the field herself. Why is not like I have a choice. If you want something done properly, do it yourself. Have we ever fought Top? Madam Kokolia? Huh? I see. What did you just call me? Uh, it appears Luca is dazed all of a sudden. No, it's 
nothing. Come at me, Miss Topaz. No, my hallucinations are getting worse. Looks like it's time to get serious. All things in this world, human. Come on, no. You are doomed to fail. A quick divination. What is that? Why is it like so much bigger? Okay. Wait, no. Oh, I'm too slow. I weep for the departed. Oh, the pillar's not dying, eh? Tremble before my power. Yin and Yang. Free will, uh, or was it fate? Still waters of oblivion. Just for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. You are doomed to fail. Again. Let's kill this tower. Witness Just in case. Kokolia did something with it, but it looks like she didn't. This is double speed. A little more shit. I'm honored by you. since okay. you're already here. Why not have a meal before? And we get vibes on the way. I weep. No. Oh, that was too many without the lives. Why not have a meal before you leave? This combat needs up to this is double speed. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Oh, we stage two. Shit. But it's time to end this game of playing house. All things in this world, human creations. <laughs> Together as one. The opponent has stepped up their offense. We are probably trying to end it quickly so they can get off work. So you can get off work early. True. This time, time for a fun. <laughs> hmm. A little more shit. Effect the res. Shut the I fuck how? He has like a million effect rate. It too shall fall. All things human. I probably should have waited for the ult. Free will, or was it fate? Destiny for oblivion. Apologies, but it looks like the Oops. Okay, I don't know. Clicking would skip that. Judgment of eternal winter. Strong. She wasn't even using her power just now. Lucan has been completely cornered by Topaz. Able to turn the tide on his precarious predicament. Luca, get it together. Throw a punch. Keep moving, Luca. The boxing champ of Boulder Town can't fall here. I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? This combat needs up. Hm. This okay. is double speed. 
Sure. Time for a bun. <laughs> I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Well, let me break with quantum. More season. I'm honored by your since you're already here. And then we just stack it and then kill her. This combat needs a which I don't need to go. Why not? I weep for the departed. Goodbye. It too shall fall. And the winner is Luca Strongar. Team Bellabog has proven its superiority and defended its honor. What a roller coaster of emotions. True. Unbelievable. Isn't that Snowy Owl an IPC employee? Why is he getting so sentimental? Luca, you fought well. Victory is yours. <laughs> you pulled your punches, Miss Topaz. Do you think so little of me? Um, you're mistaken. For the Ten Stone Hearts, going all out is something we only do in life and death situations. True. This is nothing but a casual spar. Best that everyone emerges unscathed without a scratch. We don't want the IPC's protective gear sales to take a hit now, do we? Mm. You took the win. Have more faith in yourself. This was a hard-earned victory. And with all due respect, it was you who underestimated me, right? Of course not. I wouldn't dare look down on one of the IPC's legendary employees. You peg everyone with an IPC job title as one of their lapdogs. You think we've sold our souls and become servants for profit. Don't deny that. I know that look all too well. The IPC doesn't need bleeding, intangible goods like souls. They only want profit. My home and Bellabog aren't so different. We are all struggling to eke out an existence in this merciless universe, hell-bent on living long enough to touch happiness. And the messengers of the Amber Lord gave me that chance. Just as I, on behalf of the IPC, am giving you that exact same chance. So, you understand now? We have much, much more in common than you think, Luca. I hope that Bella Bug can find the strength within to lift itself up. Now, you've left your city in hopes of getting the cosmos to notice you, and that's certainly admirable. But in this cosmos full of selfishness, and malice. Are you truly prepared to face even greater crises? Whether you are or not. The one will save Bellabog, no matter what. Why is she like yapping? Keep it up and keep winning like, bro, matches. Ain't that deep. I've had my fill, so I should be leaving. I have a lot of negotiations to attend to back on the Lofu. Miss Topaz, wait. Hmm? <sighs> It wasn't my intent to look down on you. I believe anyone striving to survive is truly remarkable. <laughs> Don't take it to heart. Isn't it a tradition to trash talk each other before a match starts? She knows. Sometime later. Amber, they were joking when this event's... When they said this event's too long, eh? Congratulations. Oh. Well, and here she is. Front row, second from the left. First from the left. Thanks. Uh, so my dazed, if you have any comments. Or why not look at the zone hallucinate? Yes, let's
that's distracted the audience. Because it, uh, it's a lot of opportunity when you revise your strategy. Yeah, of course. Front or second from the left. Okay. Here's the streamer, why not? Uh, Marshall Elite Network. What news network again? Don't give me a journalist pass, so just take it. <laughs> sure. Uh... Many people that look up would lose the match. I'm speechless. Actually, they're in everyone's minds. Match poise. Pause. Poise. Uh, it's competent that look at seem like the different people from his performance in the first and second halves. True. Potential growth in the fight is um, immeasurable. Okay, and the awful guy, we're not gonna ask him. Because he's a nobody. Okay. Great. She even wrote an article, damn. Well, let me check something. Yeah. Return to the lounge. My hallucinations are getting worse. When I was fighting Topaz, do you know who I saw? I saw Madame Kokolia standing at the other How end do you even of the ring. How she looks like blades of ice aimed at me. How's that watching over me? Raining down a hail of ice on my face? I really hurt. It's gotta be some IPC baddie dressed up as the Supreme Guardian, so you would hesitate to attack Topaz. There's a break coming up, so there won't be any fights. Luca, you can use this chance to rest and recuperate. Uh, I do need a break. I'm not actually an Iron Man or anything. Speaking of which, catch Starcook the Great. What are you doing here on your own? Where'd Svarog go? Well, Svarog said he needed to do some data sampling. He asked Hook to wait for him here and not disturb Luca. Hook has been a goodie and waiting here alone. Data sampling. A goodie. <sighs> Forget it. It's not something I should be worrying about. Coach, I think I need to get my symptoms looked at. But where can I see a doctor on the Xianzhou? Please, if you don't mind. <sighs> I hope they're as good as Natasha. I'm going to buy or Links. Links. All right, bye bye. Hey, AJ Damakus, definitely be interested. Okay. What does the Divination Commission do again? A simple explanation would be that they are the information technology department on the Sienjo. They are mainly responsible for predicting the future. Predicting the future. I guess they're kind of a big deal. 
At first, I thought she was a little awkward, but I guess she just uh, doesn't like socializing. What should we do first? See a doctor or go to the divination commission? Yeah, let's I let's go over here. If the hallucinations are to the doctor. Bad, we should see a doctor sooner rather than later. I want to go too. I want to go too. What did Sparog say? Pitch Dark Hook the Great isn't allowed to disturb Luca. But this lounge is so small and boring. I can't show off my moves in a tiny place like this. Then, Pitch Dark Hook the Great, shall I take you to our room alley to eat yummy food? Have you ever eaten a song lotus cake that's just offering to be a babysitter? Cool. I've never eaten it before. What's that? If I can taste this sun blotter's cake, I'll. Uh, I'll make you the mole's grand captain of gourmet discovery! Thank you, Pitch Dark Hook the Great! Let's set off right now! <sighs> Miss Carmella is such a kind person. She could get along with Hook so quickly. Okay, Coach. We should get going, too. Alright. Who are we seeing? Or is it both of them? Bailu and Lingsha. This is oh, the Alchemy sure. Commission? This whole place is a hospital? Oh, can it get any bigger than this? This is the smallest of all departments? Oh, this is... This is just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Up you, Patrick, should do the trick. No, oh, isn't that Miss Sushong? What's she doing here? No, let's find out. Miss Sushong, what a coincidence! I guess you have a problem too? What sort of greeting is that? You're the one with the problem. Sorry, sorry. I mean, are you here to see a doctor too? No, I came here to help my Cloud Knight co workers get medication for their bruises and swelling. Uh, sorry, I went too hard on him. It was a fair match, so no one's to blame. Actually, we should be grateful to you. They were so impressed by your abilities that they said they wanted to train harder. <laughs> we meet again. Who is this beside you? Hello, I'm Luca, a friend of his. I'm from Bellabog and a contestant in the current war dance. Bellabog. Apologies, I'm not familiar with the name. Regardless, welcome to the law room, Mr. Luca. Are you here for a consultation? Uh, this might sound weird. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Hmm. Let's run an imaging test first to confirm that your brain has no organic issues. A fighter's bound to run into such problems. Huh? What's it got to do with anything organic? I thought mechanical parts were fine in the tournament. Uh, not that organic. It means, uh, oh, how do I explain this? It means that the brain is broken. Ah! The brain is broken? Uh, don't worry. Now that you're at the Alchemy Commission, I'll do my best to find a solution. Hold still and don't move. Three, two, one. Cheese! Okay. You're not taking a photo. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> also, Shang is not even like in it. <laughs> Cauldron Master, what do you see? Is there any hope for me? Uh, hmm. <sighs> There's a huge shadow in his brain. Could it be? <laughs> I'm too young to die, Doc. <sighs> I'll do it. I'll stay positive and defeat the demons of this illness. Uh, that shadow looks a lot like my hand. <sighs> Look. You are still making the V sign. I told you it's not a photo. From the exam results, it looks like there's nothing wrong with your brain. Mr. Luca, have you been eating anything unusual lately? Oh, let me think. I ate some of the local delights when I got here. Song lotus cake, chili oil beef opal stew, scale gourd spring water, mung bean soda, spicy diced chicken, garlic infused pork. After the tournament officially started, my diet has been pretty much the same. Brown rice, corn, buckwheat, 
Boiled chicken breast, boiled beef shank, poached fish, boiled prawns. Uh, are we feeding livestock here? Mr. Luca, don't be afraid to tell me. Is he mistreating you? I will make sure you get justice. A chill, man. Of course not. I have to watch what I eat during a match. Don't worry. Stuffing myself with junk. Your appetite astounds me. But it seems you didn't eat anything that might affect your brain. Oh, right. After the match with Miss Sushang, I drank a bottle of Sweet Dream Soda. But I think I was already hallucinating before that. Sweet Dream Soda. I think I understand what's going on. It's not unusual to be anxious when you're far away from home. When your nerves were thrown into disarray, the Sweet Dream Soda you drank intensified it. That drink has a fair amount of memoria in it, intended to make dreams more vivid and pleasant. But instead, it caused your anxiety to be amplified, eventually triggering serious hallucinations. Sorry, I didn't understand a word you just said. It's all right. There's no cure for such a symptom. What I mean is that you don't require medication. Just stroll around the Lafu more and take in the barrage of new sights and sounds. Stop drinking Sweet Dream Soda and your symptoms will disappear in a few days. Stroll around the Lafu more. Don't drink Sweet Dream Soda. Okay. Got it memorized. I'm suddenly reminded of something that might help alleviate your symptoms. Please wait a moment. Something that can help alleviate my symptoms. Is so fine, bro. Low key. Damn. Lady Lingsha said that these medical patches are very effective, but we're fighting again tomorrow. Will it be enough? I guess we're eliminated. We were. But we've been revived. You guys didn't know? The war dance has a popularity revival rule. If eliminated contenders or teams garner mm, enough good good votes in online polls, they can participate in the repechage and re-enter the ring. Bro, what is word? Oh, really repechage. <laughs> it's all mainly okay. thanks to my good friend, Little Gwei. All she has to do is tap a finger on the internet and our popularity votes will blast through the roof like a comet. Like a croquet? Sure. I'm not well read, so I might really believe you. Anyway, yeah, it's believe all me that. It's, it's, it's a croquet. I'm back in the fight. <laughs> not bad at I don't know if Good Knife is going to take part uh, next time. that you can rely on is the most blissful thing in the world. Mr. Luca, come take a look. This is the tusk for treatment that I've prepared for you. Oh yeah, this guy. Whoa, what is it? Touch it, touch it. Man. <laughs> the noises. Oh, it's too cute. You're just like a strawberry bun. Please say come to Shushan. I can't stay calm in the face of such Never. cuteness. This is a tusk fur of the Sienjo Juming. Warm, sweet, not for consumption. Oh, it's pretty cute. But how can it make me better? The tusk fur is a creature that subsists on memoria. Hugging it while you fall asleep can raise your sleep quality, treat insomnia, and relieve anxiety and depression. And the tusk fur loves strong memoria. The more depressed you are, the more happy it'll be. Isn't that right, little fella? That sounds interesting. <laughs> no. No. Sounds great. Uh, how much? <sighs> Don't worry. This Tusker is a personal pet of mine. I can lend it to you for this treatment, but you have to take good care of it for me. Oh, I can't thank you enough. All throughout my journey, I've received so much help from the Alliance. I will definitely repay everyone. Oh, oh, you two! You guys have something important to attend to later, right? It must be awfully tiring lugging this cutie pie around, right? 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 <laughs> Can't take our task, but... What? Can't I touch it just a little? No. You all go take care it's of mine. Stuff. I'm about to head back to the sky splitter. How dare you? Meds to the team. As a cloud knight, I always help out and do at least one good deed a day. I can take this tusk fur to the lounge for you. I'll just hold it for a bit. I swear her. I won't steal it. That's fine by me, Miss Sushang. You can also come play with it anytime you want. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Mr. Luca. Come here, cutie. <laughs> Adorable little Tusky. You're so cute. I could just gobble you right up. 
She's too happy, doesn't like it. It's fine, and then walks out of sight. Oh, she's acting just like Zila did the first time she saw a real planes bear. Looks like the Tuskbird not only regenerates rationality, Sheila Lord also destroys it. Insane. Hmm. Now that makes for an interesting research topic. If there's nothing else I can do for the both of you, I'll be on my way. Thank you for the Tuskbird. I will treasure it and shower it with love. Oh, we were delayed at the Alchemy Commission. I hope we Let's go. Divination Commission. Man, I haven't been in this place in a while. Oh, look, Lynx is over there. Quick, let's go see her. One zero. Lynx. Luca, you're here. I had a strange encounter. I was at the plaza watching people play cards, and I met a kind-hearted girl. She said she could help us repair the Jade Abacus we brought, but she was just called away by a few diviners and still hasn't returned. She left you yeah. alone. Isn't this girl a bit? much thank you you're a huge help the girl should be just over there playing some game with other diviners really she's just she's just playing right you could get back here man president ching you're getting better and better you're probably slotting president the ching this game right that's an interesting. You're one to talk, setting up endless scenarios like in the nickname? Divination Commission. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I was too engrossed playing. I didn't notice the time. <laughs> Isn't this the nameless? You're super popular in our circle. That's not the same. We Pathfinder fans definitely admire you more than others outside the circle. It's the. Pathfinder fan circle. We heard that you relied solely on the Pathfinder to overcome the Heliobus possessing the Master Diviner. <laughs> That's definitely the highlight of the Pathfinder since its conception 300 years ago. The Pathfinder. But our President Ching said it was all down to your hard work. Oh. Okay, he and I have some things to take care of. Play with you next time. No! You guys can't leave! Gosh, you scared me. What do you want? It's not every day we meet a Pathfinder legend. We can't let you leave that easily. You have to play around a round of Pathfinder with me or I won't let you take President Ching away. I don't want this Ching that you can have. How many Ching do you have? Don't worry. <sighs> Just play around with her. I doubt she'll let go of this chance to boast about it. <laughs> Wait, but I find that like the, the game mode thingy. Where you move the things onto the lines can go to the end of the puzzle thingy. You ready to have a match with me? Sure. Let uh Okay. What? Oh, this was a fun game. I remember this. But this was from 1.5. <laughs> that was crazy. Nameless. You solved my riddle in a flash. Pathfinder. Once you play, you'll forget about hatred, love, and life itself. Satisfied now? Then we'll be off. Hold on! Recently, our Pathfinder Circle has also been organizing a major event, taking advantage of the momentum from the war dance. Not just for those in the La Fu. Plenty of our like minded brethren on other Sienjo ships. Oh, is this about the other come. event? You may have seen our ad we put out in the papers. If you join up, our first major event will be considered a wild success. I'll participate. Fantastic! Looking forward to it! <laughs> Who would have thought? That you'd be so immensely popular in some weird circle. What does that mean? Of course I am. Is this the friend that you mentioned, Luca? Pleased to finally meet you. I keep seeing you in the news. My name is Chingche, a diviner from the Divination Commission. Miss Lynx has told me everything. She also said she found some rare antique that she hopes I can fix. 
At first glance, I knew it was a Jade Abacus. And an old model from centuries ago, too. Out of curiosity, I accepted the job to restore the data inside it. Aren't you lazy, though? Yeah. <sighs> Nothing gets past you. You know that the Master Diviner has returned to the Yuche on business? Before she departed, she left me with a mountain of data I was just kind of like, spreadsheets. Okay, I'm doing something else. Instead of doing her actual work. I see. My eyes were seeing stars. Now that such an opportunity has fallen into my lap to restore an important historical document, strictly speaking, taking this job doesn't count as slacking off. And I might even get to unveil a fascinating tale. And I've actually already restored part of the information. <laughs> She's right. Thank you, Lynx. Let's play the recording then. Trust me. With your skills, you'll surely make a name Damn. for yourself if you join the Interstellar Circuit. Prize money, fame, things others can't achieve in a lifetime, all within your reach. Of course I'd be thrilled to win, but what I truly hope for is that people will listen to my post-match speech. I know what you're thinking. I've heard about your home's plight. Honestly, many worlds have been attacked by Nanook's mad legion, so I must remind you. The audience paid good money to watch a thrilling show. They're not interested in your words of woe and weal. Igor, you sure are a miracle. For a competitor hailing from a frontier planet to get into the final at Pier Point, it's something only a handful have achieved. So cheer up a little. I'm just a plaything for their entertainment. Look at what I've had to do. Severing my perfectly good arm and replacing it with an IPC prosthetic. All to make the matches more dangerous and what? thrilling. What? <laughs> Done on purpose. <sighs> if mom saw me in this state, she would be heartbroken. If your mother saw the prize money you won, she'd understand. Can my prize money buy me an army? If you want to buy a mercenary army outfitted with standard gear, you'd have to defend your champion's title at least 20 times and accept countless endorsements. Can you last that long? Can your home? Damn. Hmm. This story got much heavier than anticipated. Igor left his home planet before the Antimatter Legion invaded. When he participated in all the fighting tournaments across the cosmos, he would address the audience with a speech after he won, hoping that would raise awareness about the Antimatter Legion and save his planet. He really was an extraordinary person. Alas. The cosmos is infinitely vast, easily drowning out one planet's meek cry for help. It's all right. This is a chapter in history that's already happened anyway. Regardless, to be able to hear Igor's actual voice after seven centuries makes me more than happy. This section of information doesn't mention the Sienjo Alliance at all. I wonder how he fought his way to the La Fu. Anyway, this is all the content that's been restored so far. I should be able to salvage some data, but I'll need a couple of days. Perhaps the subsequent data will be able to tell us why he arrived on the CN Joe. I'll stay at the Divination Commission for now. There are some other matters I have to handle besides restoring the Jade Abacus. I'll try my best to restore the data in the Jade Abacus, but it'll take some time. You go back first. I'm gonna take a stroll along the streets. <laughs> uh, looks like the Alchemy Commission should have given you a prescription as well. A the doctor advised me to walk around the town and see more of the sights. Don't say that. If I can walk along the streets <laughs> alone a few more times, I might be able to conquer my fear of the big city. Uh, this place scared the heck out of me when I first got here. <sighs> After all, in the future, I'll have to be like Igor, competing all over the cosmos for Bellabog. I can't keep getting spooked and hallucinating all the time. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm lost. Again. The streets in this big city all look the same. I just want to enjoy a cup of tea. Why is it so difficult? Isn't this a great opportunity to practice asking for directions? Let's ask this guy. 
Excuse me, little bro. Uh, I'm not sure how old you are. Can I call you little bro? Hmm? Are you talking to me? If you're not one of long life species, then I guess we're around the same age. Is there something you need? I'd like to ask, uh, how can I get to the sleepless hey, so young girl? Like... Go straight to Starwatch <laughs> Avenue. Keep to the right, and you'll see a storyteller performing on your way. That's where the sleepless Earl is. Thanks, little bro. Really sorry for the trouble. It's my first time visiting another civilization. It's normal to feel a little uncomfortable when you're so far from home. If you need any help, just ask. So, where are you from? I'm from Bellabog. Oh, we've only recently re-established connections with the cosmos, so you might not have heard of it. Bellabog? I've heard of it from others. No wonder your metal arm looks so awesome. Master, you must be here to compete in the war dance, right? <laughs> Master? Ah, you flatter me. Uh, my name is Luca. I'm here to compete in the war dance. I hope to make a name for myself by successfully challenging the ringmaster of the Xianzhou Luo Fu, so that everyone will know the name Bellabog. You want to challenge the ringmaster of the Luo Fu? You want to challenge Yen Qing? <laughs> it seems like our stars are aligned. You're also here to compete in the war dance? Are you also here to challenge the one named Yen Qing? <laughs> yeah. I guess, as a warrior, I always have to keep challenging myself. Yeah, I agree. Warriors have to keep challenging themselves and strong enemies. If you stop moving forward and get scared by the enemy in front of you, all past battles become meaningless. To be able to represent the Xianzhou Lo Fu. Damn, he just says on the hit hard to Yan Qing. Yen Qing. Must truly be a legendary fighter. <laughs> I'm not feeling so sure of myself now that I think about it. I feel the same as you whenever I stand in the ring. Although I am confident in the skills that I've honed over the years through my hard work, honestly speaking, there's always that nagging uncertainty about how good my opponents might be. It's like fear sneaks in and messes with my confidence. <laughs> uh, I've got a little trick that can help you conquer your pre-match anxiety. Find an empty place and scream the name of your opponent until you truly believe that you can beat the enemy you fear. <laughs> what an interesting trick. Okay, I'll give it a go. <clears throat> I will be victorious. The last one standing in that ring can only be me. I, Luca, will definitely win. I will defeat Yen Ching. <laughs> Come on, let me hear you shout. Let's pump herself up. Uh, <laughs> me too. Come, shout with me. I will defeat Yan Ching. I will defeat Yan Ching. Yan Ching won't defeat me. Yan Ching won't defeat me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right, not bad. Hey, you're right. All that shouting made me feel much more confident. See, I wasn't lying. Although I haven't seen much of the world, I do have a lot of experience fighting. I hope this helps. Thank you, Luca. It's late. I have to go prepare for my match. Oh, my friend, you haven't told me your name. <laughs> you can call me Lung Fung. <laughs> In the Xianzhou language, it means an icy blade. May fate bring us together again, Luca. All right, all right. Lung Feng. Now that's a really cool name for such a cool person. Bro, why are you glazing Yang Ching, bro? Is Luca back yet? Let's head back to the lounge and take a look. I have so many fans. Oh. Not remember. Uh, how the time took a nap. Now. It's about to doze off.
Close your eyes, you already experienced this family dreamscape combat training. You aren't sleepy. What? Dreamscape training. What the fuck? Enter super hype state once. If you told the three stages, inflict weakness to gain hype. Highlights. What am I doing? God. But there's too many cards in this game. Uh -huh. Wait. Uh, uh, character details. You still have your finger on? Yep, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Cool. Art challenge. Time to, to enter super hype once and then a little more heat. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. And I just beat them basically. It's yeah. The same match again? On the still waters of oblivion. <laughs> I'm honored by your presence. You're already here. You're gonna be a much higher. Have a meal before the time. Hmm. This is double speed. She's double speed. A will forged in ice never falters. I weep for the departed. Okay, so we're gonna kill this to get a bunch of hype. Did we break him? No. Oh, we're in hype. Super hype. This is double speed. I, I don't think I need to use Josh Cho. Oh, I didn't want to use to use Silver Wolf. Whoops. Is that all? You are doomed to fail. You are doomed to fail. Back. Uh, let's I'm use it. By, since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Oblivion. I weep for the departed. Oh. It is a thing that triggered Jepard's thing. Or the dot. Power. Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't see if he did their own. I'm blind. The eternal freeze will bury you. Eternal freeze. Judgment of eternal winter. Again. You know, I should be breaking instead of like trying to kill Kokolia. I don't know why. Huh. More enemies. I'm trying. Um This combat needs up. This is double speed. Again, I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Tremble before my power. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Uh, 
just for oblivion. I weep for the departed. Okay. And then we're gonna run super high. It too shall fall. Right? Yeah. This combat needs Wait. optimizing. Actually, maybe I would need but would. I weep for the Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I would say that was a safe play. Just in case. I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Yes, more dots for Jepard. I weep for the department. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't do anything. Give me more highlights. And even more highlights. Very nice. Effect res. Really? I weep for the departed. Yeah, the single one of those guys can trigger a dot. It too shall fall. Or an Akron stack. Another That's what it looked like anyway. Destined for oblivion. Freeze to death. Not bad. Is that all? Let's do what you get ice and you part with some break damage. A world devoured by ice. Feel the freeze. I weep for the departed. Wait, he's not frozen. He unfroze himself. This combat needs up to this is double speed. Let's just use our friend just in case. I'm honored. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. You should be dead. Yeah. Cool. So what does that give? Okay. Some nice jades. Wait, let's let's wait for that. Very realistic. Combat training. Yes. Now it's time for the actual fight. Let's get the knockout points. Bootail. Okay. I don't care. Sure. Nobody want a boot hill. Break effect. Well, you're not gonna get that. Too bad. Do it like this. And you should all be fine. Because I just used you earlier. I don't think I'm going to change this. Yeah. Oh shit, I need this thing. Oh, these guys look interesting. Knight of Kindest 
techniques. Oh my god. No run may. This sucks. Let's improvise. There's more to life. Eternal. Life until everything burns to ashes! Fight to live! The mood is set with the okay, super big time. Let's go. I will claim set to the sea no play. Allow me to purge the root of the problem. <laughs> The truth burns cold. Everything in this world is bleeding. Let's do that here. Immerse yeah. yourself in it. Time to cleanse the field. I can do this. Some value are set. Just let the show begin. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. I can do all of this. Sure. Something like that. The truth. Everything in this world. It's bleeding. Yeah. Dreams do come true. Oh, they broke him. Damn. I will claim victory for myself. Fight to live! Immerse yourself in it. Be of your body and mind. Let's improvise. <laughs> the mood is set. Let the show begin. Set to the sea, go play! Blaze. Like until everything burns to ash. Goodbye. May the foul stench dissipate. Yeah. Dreams do come true. There's more to life. Mood is set. Let the show begin. Existence is unity. Every petal, all will be Every time going over the wind. It's fine. The truth burns clear as everything in this world. Will this even it's kill? Bleeding. Okay, then. Time I'll make this. Nice. Not bad. A thrilling duel. Sure. I feel like Snuggy was acting up. I guess. Something like that. Sometime later. Yeah. Invitational match. Okay. Interesting. Hold on, before that, let's do this. The Trotter. Let's go. What does this guy want?
want to use L. Hmm. That's like the only team commando I have in this game, I swear. Dan Hung Hill. They have such random weaknesses, I don't even know. Should I go in the trial? Just because it may be fun. I can. Let's forget about these things. Okay, let's go. Trotters. You are going down. Okay, I get it. Makes sense. Let's be friends. <laughs> let's play for a while. Wait, what did I even target? <laughs> what is that? I didn't even see that on my screen before. 
Feeling spiffy? Heaven surge. <laughs> Rise! Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah! I see through you. All things human creations. <laughs> A giant trotter. Damn. Now with the trotter support. On our side. After fighting in so many knockout stages, I think our points should be in. Time to head to the sky split. There's leaderboard to confirm her ranking. What's happening? Discuss the IPC offer. But I have to go on the one below. Who is like sending me there? It's annoying. I thought I'd be able to like judge between like need to go up or down what's interesting then let's put you to the test <laughs> don't spread it around these are all insects What wow. chest fan from Yochi? I don't know, I forgot about it. Uh... Impossible. How can it be so easy? one by one okay I have to keep clicking on every time can't just be like oh How does this thing work again? I don't remember. Hmm. 
actually had to think there for a second, eh? Okay, hold up. Solving a puzzle. Let's keep going, I guess. Okay. Two, three. No, one, two, three, four, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at all of this. Refreshed and invigorated. With that tutorial, they already gave me the answer. It's pretty funny.
Okay. Turn on this guy. Making incense, the smallest of different. Wanna be a mech pilot? Join the IPC. What? I don't get it. Um... Yeah, that's not enough. What? One, two, three, six, seven. I don't know, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. That was right. Confused. One, two, three. One, two, three. Something like that.
go with one and two. Indeed. The old and inhale the new. One unlucky, I guess. See what she has to say. I wonder if it's gonna be voiced. I don't think so. Yo. Okay. Crazy. Well, that's not good. Ah, so top was so in them. Who's next? Oh, well, he's stressed out.
Attack! Allow me to purge the root of the problem. Time to cleanse the filth. Some value I spot eternal. Like until everything burns to ashes! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have no skill points. Every Why would that? All will be swept away by the wind. Well, that guy's such an annoying contestant, let's say. Kind of speaking fact, not gonna lie. True. After some time, everything will be alright. Yeah. So did I? His human hand would like not enjoy that. <laughs> Surely. star and then this guy <laughs> just getting started Who's gonna join in and help us? I wonder. Or right, can we like chillax? Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! The punches decide. Step out of it. Small fry. on you okay where's 
the applause. Let's see some sparks fly. Let's heal up a little bit. Don't get cocky. Oh, you got. He's not gonna put them out, I guess. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly. fly. But he's so cool, man. So cringe. All right, can we? Let's wait a bit to my, to my cosmos. I like that. It's a good song. Nice. So we're gonna Shang Shang. about that now so we're going for internet beef damn what's next or beef like drama i guess i, I don't know there's just so much useless information like whenever there's real drama okay As the event, yep. Oh, they got this guy to take it. What? Okay. 
Right, so now. Okay, now we're on the people's side again. Crazy. Too many characters. Even though they're like lined up in like elemental order, I still can't. I don't know why. I'm just blind. Yeah, let's kill him. All will be swept away by the wind. The truth burns clear as everything in this world is bleeding. Dreams do come true. Okay. We're buying the prosthetic now. Cool. Mm -hmm. Look, who's using the IPC thing now? That's interesting. I was really good at doing this whole thing. Oh my god. Alright, so this guy is just greedy then. Cool. Just wanted his face. After fighting in so many knockout stages, I think our points should be enough. Okay. Time to head to the Sky Splitters leaderboard to confirm her ranking. Let's go. Hey, looks like I've got enough points. We are back. It, coach. Let's get ready to challenge some powerful opponents. Okay. It's only chapter two, bro. Time to get fired up. That's crazy. Luca, your next opponent is Boot Hill. A 
among those who harbor plenty of hatred against the IPC. I heard he's a galaxy ranger? The galaxy rangers are a diverse group of individualistic warriors that are disciples of the hunt. Disciples of the hunt? So isn't he the same as Xianzhou folks? No matter how dangerous he is, he won't be causing trouble in the land of his fellow disciples, right? Well. Huh. I take your point. Yeah. Wait, no. The IPC didn't do anything bad to Bellabog. That wasn't what you we're just talking about. You have to be cautious, Luca. A wanted criminal on the IPC's list is really no joke. <laughs> What's there to be afraid of? Uh, when I was defending the underworld with my master, I also met many hardened criminals. I even personally apprehended the Dark Widower of Boulder Town with my own two hands. Damn. Dark Widower. Now that's a title. Good hell. A fugitive wanted by the IPC. After all, the Xianzhou Alliance didn't arrest him, and they even allowed him to participate in the war dance. Of course, I'm not afraid of criminals. Luca, are you ready to go up against Boo Hell? It's yes. time to go see what this criminal the IPC wants so bad is made of. Be careful. Mr. Butil. Okay, what do you want me to do now? Dot. I saw Dot. I am locked in. You know, let's do a run made dot, not Acheron. Uh, wait. Boxing champion from Bellabog, Luca Straga! Fighting out of the red corner. It's none other than the notorious felon wanted by the IPC, the Galaxy Ranger, Boot Hill! Go for it, Luca! Beat Boot Hill and hand him over to me! We'll split the bounty in half! You little fudgehead! I'll have you stewing in a pot sooner or later. Butter my fudge and call me a biscuit. Can't believe I'm seeing you here, brother. You competing too. Bro. Uh, hell yeah. I'm his coach. Uh, no wonder I didn't see your name on the list. I thought you were gonna fudge and ambush me here. You guys are close. We ain't exactly best buddies. Our lives were just raveled in the tangles of destiny. That don't mean I'll be showing any mercy. <laughs> I won't either. Let me give you some real advice, kid. Drop out now. You ain't in my league. My bottle is his power creep, so it hasn't started. It makes I sense. I can't defeat you. My fist might not be slower than your bullet. <laughs> Diggity wubba boo. Because we ain't on the same path, partner. You're here to win. I'm here for payback. You want honor? Honor ain't worth squat to me. Also, quit yapping about your fork and iron fist. That IPC sponsored piece of trash makes me sick. 
I'll get a proper overhaul for you later. I want to see Ooh, every true actually in the cosmos buzzing with the headline The IPC's most wanted man stole the spotlight at the war dance. He came out with a fud blazing and sure made them IPC shirt bags choke on the humble pie. Mr. Boothill, I don't know what kind of grudge you hold against the IPC, but I don't think we're too different. We both want the whole cosmos' eyes on us. All right, all right, I ain't gonna argue with you. If you want my bullets that bad, who am I to refuse, right? <laughs> well, before I came here, I drew six lucky wheels at the looking bronze in front of the Rainbow Arbiter. Tell you what, if my next six shots jam, you win. But if they don't, well, this ring's floor is gonna be a real mess, ain't it? Uh, Mr. Boothill, we're just sparring, that's all. Let's not risk our lives. Jack gum, wubba boo! Others might play games with you, but I ain't playing. I'm putting my life on the line here. But if you don't even have the guts to do the same, then what are you here for? I... Come on. Look down the barrel of my gun. Walk over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts. Damn. I'm speaking to Luca. Let him answer me. Luca, come on. Wait, what this guy's trying to teach you, son? Take a swing at me. You got the guts. <sighs> got the guts. Uh, speak up. <sighs> Bring it on, Boot Hill. I'll make you eat your own words. <laughs> Screw up a boo. You've got some guts. Bullets don't have eyes, so don't blame me for being ruthless. Do you look sad? My hallucinations are getting worse. Damn, okay. Wait now, Luca. Don't go over there. You'll die. No. Death. I haven't fought this guy in a while. <laughs> Oh, this, this guy was like a world in sim oh, the old Simini, right? Damn. That's crazy. Every petal hole will be swept away uh, by the wind. Not ho ho when. Leave her alone. You shouldn't be fighting him, Luca. Bruh, two points your story was so good. God, this whole this enemy was so good. Memories are beneath the waters, lies an endless abyss. 
Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. And boom. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. Time's passage. No. Just try How dare you? He will not back down. Hmm, could use some AOE. Any second. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Fiends or devils. Is that the light one that's healing one year old? I don't remember. Ill fate descends. May as well kill them all. Oh, she finally used a stack. That's crazy. <laughs> Get them. Stand still. Eternal. Tell him. Goodbye. What? Okay. How I was gonna say, how is he not dead? Now what? Is he now ready? To face him? Going on, am I dead? Well, I was like a second. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Victor is Galaxy Ranger Boot Hill. Now they're playing. Oh. I was like, that was crazy. Skill issue. with the prep you can hold our rainbow <laughs> this is the prep all right so i'm have to go back in i see because that's why it goes like in a loop right so it goes back and then back forward hook uh. oh yeah Crystal daily. Turn off when you have non existing glasses. Okay. 
first. Is that what her dad was called first, man? Use doesn't matter. One is that the matches are exciting. <laughs> and or I'm definitely not lying for fun. Condition is worrying. Let's go see him at the lounge. Yes, indeed. That boot hill really went way overboard. If it weren't for Luca's iron arm, Luca would have been. Would have been. Well, that's what Butil wanted, right? To break the IPC, yeah. <laughs> and the prosthetic. Way out of my league. Uh, I swear, getting near him, I felt like. Was staring death in the face. Luca. Damn. I was outclassed. Boot Hill didn't do anything wrong. I'm such a country bumpkin. I shouldn't have come here in the first place. I'm way out of my league. Don't give up. Do you remember? The war dance has a popularity revival mechanic. Now the entire cosmos loves you. They'll definitely revive you. Popularity revival? Maybe they all just want to turn me into a laughing stock. They just want to see me get beat up again and escape with my tail between my legs. I'm sorry, Mr. Jepard, Miss Bronya. I, I'm just a useless piece of nothing. But I'm sorry. I, I want to be alone for a while. I am. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's a time for you. Great. Oh, well, she's in high spirits. The coach. Okay, right. Can you ask the question? This is voiced, please, man. Wolfwine's tail seemed to be oh, on like, too. She's the best. Loki. Let's look for them. Okay. She's voiced. Hello, yes. Mr. Nameless. It's been a hectic few days recently in the shackling prison. I had a hard time trying to leave. I'm very happy to be seeing you again. Loki, new VA kind of squeaky. I don't know if I like. Anyway. Obviously. I saw in the news that you're a coach now. You've got your hands in all kinds of pies, haven't you? I was thinking you could train Wawa properly and have her attend the war dance to fight against a few others. Isn't this much more effective at training one's bravery than watching horror flicks? Huh? That's what you were thinking about? No, 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 no. 
One punch and I probably won't stop crying for ages. Please don't do this to me. So that kid you're training, uh, Luca or whatever his name is, he got beat anyway. Isn't this the perfect opportunity to throw Huahua into the mix? Oh, right. Is Mr. Luca doing all right? The news said he couldn't even stand. Since Mr. Luca is yeah. really popular, he'll definitely clear the popularity revival vote in return. Please cheer him on. Oh, what cheering? You're just trying to change the subject, you timid brat. You don't want to fight in the war dance, do you? Give a long sigh. Sigh of yours almost blew me away. Why the long sigh? Is there a problem? Yeah, a little bit. Hallucinations? Just excuses, I bet. He's bowing out just because he got thrashed? Extra, extra! Brat, even more cowardly than Huahua discovered. Read all about it! Don't Actually, do that, Mr. Tail! Probably really emotionally damaging to realize how huge the skill gap is between you and your opponent. Is that the reason you don't want to fight? If that kid wants to forfeit the match, coach, why don't you give Huahua some proper training and forget about this mess? Actually, hallucinations. There's a way to deal with them, as long as there's someone who's superb at dealing with matters of the heart and a kind hearted Heliobus willing to help out. Now we're talking. Yeah, Sarah's so hard to find such compassion. Hello, by these days. <laughs> she looks at him. What are you lot looking at me for? Stop looking at me like that. Do I look like a psychiatrist to you? <sighs> well, you've done it before. I bet you think I'm super useful, don't you? I'm charging a fee next time. Thank you, Mr. Tail. You're lucky I'm a big softy on the inside. <laughs> Where's Luca now? Why are you just saying that? She just like kept being angry. You're back! Who are these two? Oh, Luca's fans! Luca, your fans are here to see you! Uh, uh, hang on! What's this? It's a ghost! Oh, oh, uh, to think Luca has fans from realms that transcend mortality! <laughs> Good Crazy. thing I'm already used to such reactions. Hello, Luca. I'm Hoha, and this here is Mr. Tail. We're your fans. Oh, my fans. Sorry to have disappointed you. <sighs> Luca's really down in the dumps now, and he can't lift his spirits up for anything. I ordered a couple pounds of grilled meat for him so he might have a feast to cheer him up, but he just sat there all moody and devoured the lot. No matter how bad my mood is, high quality protein is never to blame. Actually, Mr. Luca, we're healers invited by Mr. Nameless to help you with your depressive emotions and hallucinations. There is no we. I'm the only one here who's powerful enough to perform such a difficult task. Everyone, I've already withdrawn from the tournament. Please stop wasting your time and money on someone as useless as me. Ugh, I can't take it. The depression he's radiating is making even me uncomfortable. So awkward. Ugh, hurry up and let me at him. Uh, I'm really going to start charging money next time. Uh, this... Mr. Tail? What are you doing so close to me? <sighs> Cold! I was shivering for a second there. Alright, nice to do the maze thingy. If we're to help the kid find his confidence again, we'll have to strike at the root of the problem and remove it completely. So annoying. Let's just make it quick. Bro, who won't tell is the best? <laughs> Look, you missed him. Uh, oh no. <laughs> RG, you're here to watch me fight again? Wait, is this a kid from his story mission? Yeah, you're just too strong. I was so scared when those 
three big guys came out. But you managed to beat them all. Bro, whose voice actress is that? It sounds so familiar. I hope I can grow up to be strong like Luca one day. I can't. I don't know. Of course you will. You just have to eat well, sleep well, train well, and you'll be even stronger than I am. When that happens, you'll be able to KO me in just a few punches. And then yell triumphantly in the ring, the Multamerville Warrior, the peerless Boulder Champion, defeater of evil throughout the world. <laughs> Not that, Luca. That's the line when you defeat the baddies. Ah, it's getting late. You should be getting home. The early bird gets the worm. That's how you grow big and strong. Um, Luca? I, I might not be and why are they bringing this story much. back? Damn. We've already gone through this once. <laughs> That's alright. Even if you're busy, I know you've always got my back. Just remember to come by for the match after that. I'm facing off against the decapitating singer, Congiorni, and you can't miss it. Luca? I don't think I can make it for that either. Long time after this, I might not be able to come. Uh, huh. Uh, what happened? I really hope I can grow up to be strong like Luca one day. Damn. Margie? Margie, where are you? Margie? Margie? Margie! Where did you go? Still haven't seen you grow up big and strong. Luca, who is that little girl? Her name's Margie, a fan of mine. She always came to watch all my matches. We got to know each other later and started chatting, but in the end, I still didn't really understand her situation. It wasn't until much later that I learned she had a serious illness and was battling for her life against it. <laughs> the underworld is impoverished, and the doctors tried their best, but they couldn't... they couldn't cure her. Uh, my condolences, Luca. Uh, you may not be familiar with the place of my birth. When I was still a child, everyone led hard lives. Now the underworld the was death at okay. all times. The whole thing was crazy. Some died to monsters, others to bandits. I've seen so much death. Back then, I thought we were just too weak. If I could get just a little stronger, even just a little, we could vanquish our foes and keep on living. I did get stronger later on and became the boxing champion who trounced the entire underworld. At the time, I believed that as long as I swung my fists. No one could defeat me. I could be a role model for all the kids in the underworld. I could tell them that no matter how scary the opponent was, as long as we kept on fighting, we would win out. We would definitely win. But when I wanted to tell the Margie the news about my victory, Father told me she was gone, Margie. Uh, she was battling the demons of her sickness with that frail, tiny body of hers. She was always battling. She must win the next round. In the end, I finally understood that there are always unwinnable battles in life. Some fights, no matter how much you need to win, you still lose. Just like I faced off against Mr. Boothill. I 
lied to those kids. And to myself. I can't face them. He's avoiding the problem. Let's catch up and see how it goes. Gum, wubba boo! Others might play games with you, but I ain't playing. I'm putting my life on the line here. Come on. Look down the barrel of my gun. Walk over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts. Luca, come on. Get over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts. Uh -huh. uh, speak up! <sighs> Bring it on, Boot Hill. I'll make you eat your own words. <laughs> Screw up a boot. You've got some guts. Bullets don't have eyes, so don't blame me for being ruthless. <sighs> I thought your defeat was graceful. Not everyone has the guts to charge at a loaded gun and land a punch. <laughs> What else could I do? Turn around and leave. Accept defeat. How is that any different than taking a desperate stand? No matter what I chose, my life wasn't in my own hands. Don't you get it? If he wanted me dead, I wouldn't have had the chance to even muster an ounce of resistance. In short, it was Mr. Boothill who spared my life. I hate this feeling. It makes me feel powerless like my life is within the palm of their hand like all my efforts to fight back seem like a, like a joke that girl margie when she confronted the demons of her sickness she must have felt this way too oh, you idiot is there anything in this world that isn't in the palm of the universe even our Heliobi ancestors were trapped in the furnace. Even the eons must walk the path. Freedom? <laughs> Is freedom really that important? You don't get it, Mr. Tail. I just don't want to lose. Ah, why'd he run off again? <sighs> Forget it. We're almost in the depths of his inner world. Almost. Run! 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 Run, you fool! You can't win! You'll die! Run away! Quickly! Flee! You can't win! Run back to Bellamon! The skill gap is too much! You'll die! You're still thinking of bringing glory back home? To have your name insulted? Dream on! You absolutely can't win! Run! Are you not afraid of death? Hey! You pieces of trash! Stop spewing nonsense here! Scram! Who are you? You don't belong here! You should not be here! You are... Invaders! Invaders... Must be purged! Uh, you're kidding! You're trying to get rid of me? Oh, this is outrageous! Alright. Target sighted all units on alert! Allow me to first let the show begin. <laughs> Stay in step. Let's improvise. There's more to life. Eternal. Like fight to everything. Okay. Burns to ashes. Fight. Goodbye. To Bonk. And bonk again. Firefly. Luca, I've cleared out that noise messing with your head. You better get it together. That noise? Mr. Jepard, uh, an officer in Bellabok. 
He said something like that, too. A person's inner voices make far too much noise. Especially so during safe and quiet moments. Ironically, the voices that truly matter often become audible only in moments of pain, discomfort, and peril. When I was staring down the barrel of Boot Hill's gun, I realized Mr. Depart was right. My inner heart was at peace. There was only one sound that was yelling nonstop. It got louder and louder until it just overwhelmed everything around me. That voice said, Run, run, run away quickly. You'll die if you don't. That was the truest voice in my heart when I stared danger in the face. <laughs> I guess it means I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Your inner voice told you to run. So, uh, why did you still charge towards him? Because there was another weaker voice. So weak that I could barely hear it. But it still managed to reach my ears. It said, If you run now, you might as well just die here. So you did well. You charged forth. But I lost, Mr. Tail. I listened to that very important voice and... I lost. I mean, even yeah. if I were to be revived, I would still lose. If not today, then tomorrow. <sighs> no matter how strong I become, I would still eventually lose. <laughs> oh, 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 my sight! <laughs> You're killing me here! You're a real comedian! <laughs> Isn't that just common sense? <laughs> you humans are very fragile. <laughs> Heliobiar too, of course, but uh, that's not the point. Uh, the point is, life is a fight in a ring you're bound to lose. Aging, uh, disease, unattainable desires, each one will knock you out. Death just lands the final blow. Making your friends and family cry. And, uh, if there's nothing but a path of complete and utter defeat to walk, what exactly can be considered winning? Uh, fool! What's the point of asking someone else this question? Huh? Isn't that something that only you can define? I... <sighs> don't understand. You might as well be a single cell organism. <sighs> Let me ask you a question, and answer it properly. That young fan of yours, Margie, she fought with her illness her entire life, and she didn't make it through in the end. Tell me, did she lose? Huh. She did? Huh? She tried her best in everything she did. She was always putting up a fight against her sickness. One punch after the next, she was the greatest boxer there ever was. In my heart, Margie won. And she won in style. See, you fully understand, don't you? <laughs> there are rules to victory and defeat in the ring. But with our lives, only we get to dictate the rules. Okay. Luca, Damn. the most okay. important Damn. Damn. thing is to always throw the next punch. The most important thing is to always throw the next punch. Thank you, Mr. Tail. Oh, but stop! Stop! Stop it! Oh, I can't stand people's gratitude. Oh. Oh. Now that you've gotten yourself together, this guy is like it's time anti to break all in your repishage. <laughs> Miss Carmela, coach? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have given up so easily. Luca, what's with you? 
excited to participate in the popularity revival repechage and return to the war dance's stage. That's great! Luca, you finally come around! Huh, that's fantastic! I was sad seeing you so depressed just now. I said I'll pull ups to warm up. Oh, you're such a brutal coach! But what happened just now? Luca just came to his senses after that green flash of light. This treatment is a little too effective, isn't it? Maybe it's because I've seen too many bizarre things after arriving in the Wolfu. But after witnessing Mr. Tail's capability, I'm actually surprised that I'm not very surprised at all. Hey, who are you calling a bizarre thing? Speaking of which, doesn't the popularity revival repechage rely on popularity votes? Let's see. Let's see. Huh, I found it. Luca, the list, the repechage, he's in it. Kid, looks like you're going to be busy. A pity. I'll have to temporarily shelve my plan to have Wawa get pummeled. Ugh, Mr. Tail. I'm out. <sighs> Goodbye. Please come see my match again next time. I won't disappoint you after all the help you've given me. Mr. Tail. How could he? Attention all visitors. If you encounter any difficulty. Okay, this is far enough. Oh, it's suffocating trying to keep a secret. I have to spill the beans. Mr. Tail actually came to look for you, too. You dare! And you tell Miss me. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Tail. In truth, Mr. Tail really likes watching Lucas fights. <laughs> Rascal! How are you even a judge when you can't even keep a secret? I <sighs> forget it. I'll deal with you when we get back. Anyway, you heard it. You better be a good coach and make sure that kid wins a few matches in style. Got it? Good. I'm counting on you then. We're leaving. I'll see you some other time. Bye. Do your best in the popularity revival repechage. Poho and Tail have gone right. home. I should also head back to the lounge. Back to the lounge. I'm just prepare for. The Since I've been given the chance to participate in the repechage, I have to make the most of it and not disappoint everyone who's been cheering me on. With a dedicated coach like you, of course I'm gonna win. But I'm still not quite clear. According to the previous war dances, the repechage is a free for all among popular contestants that have been eliminated. But General Jing Yuan has amended the rules, hoping to give more opportunities for the contestants to showcase the beauty of duels. It is said that the La Fu has invited a highly reputable warrior known for his virtue to serve as the referee for the repechage. I'm gonna put this guy. Astral Express is so well connected. Mr. Luca, I'm sure the knight will see the beauty in your powerful punches. <laughs> uh, thanks, Miss Carmella. I will succeed. <laughs> that way I won't have to worry about getting a permanent role anymore. <laughs> All right. more training you know, I'll do that after. do I look impressive when I punch Will I impress the knight of beauty don't overthink Luca are you ready to showcase your style I'm all set I'm gonna win this no doubt about that a lot of ultimates Oh, that looks like an interesting team comp. Let's do that. I like that. And then like... I don't know. We're on May, I guess. I 
the changes to crit quickly. Yeah, something like that. Cool. Through their ultimates. Oh wow. And more energy. Okay, the Ripper Shash. Let's see. The next contestant to challenge Argenti, the Knight of Beauty, is a super popular young hero, Luca Stronger. Luca, the entire cosmos has been waiting for your return. <laughs> we all love you. Good to see you again, dear friend. Your demeanor is still as captivating as ever. As much as I want to keep chatting with you, dear friend. Please forgive me for not giving you as much attention today. You're not the star of the day. It's Luca. Um, Proof. it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Argenti. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, they say you're really great. I'm pretty good myself, too. <laughs> this isn't my first time seeing you. I was there when you had the duel with Boot Hill. <laughs> Mr. Argenti, I'm sorry you had to see that spectacle. But please... Don't underestimate me because of that. No, not at all. When you stepped forward and swung your fist at a formidable opponent fearlessly, the beauty of that moment struck me. I've they been playing it in my mind for some okay. time, and it always brings tears to my eyes. You're making me blush. I, I lost so badly, it didn't really seem beautiful at all. I must correct you, Luca. Adrilla never promotes the twisted notion of winners being more beautiful than losers. Boothill was only trying to scare you, but you weren't aware of that at the time. You thought you were dying, but for the sake of your dignity, honor, and home, you stood firm and threw a punch. In my view, that's combat aesthetics at its finest. However, even though I hold you in high regard, we still have to compete according to the rules of the Warhands. No problem. I won't disappoint you, Mr. Argenti. Well, you're done. Well, let the trial begin. Luca, prepare yourself. Look at the IP. I always deliver. Mr. Luca, you're invited to perform. The Rondo of Beauty. to a solitary rose. The beauty is eternal. Some value is eternal. Like this. Argent is so cool as well, man. I'll crush them all. Guiding light. Well, this is awkward. Look up, change your angle and punch. Every petal will be swept away by the wind. Until I Go see I protect all beauty. All beauty for a driller. Self-inflicted misery. Rise to the challenge. Damn, again. Jeez. Until I see, I will protect all beauty. 
Oh. Doesn't kill him. Every petal all will be swept away by okay. the wind. Not tomorrow. What an exciting match. Next. Fiends or devils. Oh. I'll crush them all. It's time. Oh, we just want to break bar. That run is so useless. I should bring Ingun. Or like Sparkle or something. Away by the wind. All the Rise to the challenge. Not bad. Wretched and fleeting flesh wound. I will protect all beauty for a driller. No. The energy waste. I forgot about her follow up. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all. I will crush them all. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Who's the little backstabber? Rise to the challenge. You're fighting a gentleman. Put forth all your might. Eternal. Damn. I'm Stay put. Don't let me down. The beauty is eternal. I will protect all beauty. The flesh okay. for it, Trilla. Self-inflicted The flesh will. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. So close. Hey, here we go. I'm never gonna get hyped. Oh, that was range. <laughs> Until I see, I will protect all beauty for a drill. For a drill. Grace and what? Elegance. There's no backing out now for me or you. The ultimate breath every time. <laughs> Excellent. I wasn't wrong about you. Your skills, wisdom, and courage. Embody the beauty of a martial artist. Argenti sees beauty in Luca. That means Luca's strong arm is set to make a comeback to the war dance. Where are the Luca fans? Let me hear you holler. Three, two, one, make some noise. Mr. Argenti, I'm truly grateful for your recognition. Actually, I'm simply using the authority granted by the Sienjo people to let you return to the tournament. You don't need my recognition at all. Or anyone else's. <laughs> it's hard to understand your words when they sound so... philosophical. No matter. Just remember one thing. You're already the embodiment of the beauty of battle. Which is a fact. Now, keep that in mind, and... Try to digest its meaning when I'm back home. <laughs> By the way, I heard there's another war dance contestant who's good at using an iron arm. If you two are matched as opponents, it will surely be a magnificent dance. Another Ooh. strong arm? Who could that be? Uh, Blanking out. I shall take my leave, Mr. Luca. Oh, ratio. 
Imagine if Rachel was part of this. He would never. Okay. First from the left. Yeah. We will win. Good knife and PR answer. I wonder what those like other journals have to say, journalists. Probably like the same thing, but like in a different way related to them, right? Got this and look up one. Yay. Back to the lounge. This they weren't joking. This is long. Miss Chincha has restored more parts of the record? Let's check them out now. Hopefully we'll find out the This is actually longer than the story. This is like getting close to like was like 2.3 story. That, that was the like super long one. 2.2? What was adventuring? I don't remember. Lynx, look! He and Luca are here. We were supposed to be on the trip. What are you doing it? <laughs> this Jade Abacus is too severely damaged. What we're about to watch should be the last of the records. Yeah, we're on the Shinzo after all. Are you guys ready? I'm going to play it. Go ahead, Miss Qingchue. Igor, a flicker of sorrow appears fleetingly in my empathy module after listening to your speech. Even the coolant is unable to put out this flame of melancholy. So, will you deploy your army to take over the collapsing market, Mr. Abraham? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I won't. Every business decision has to be reached based on rational consideration. Your okay. home world only contributes 0.005% of the logistical capacity required by the Building Material Logistics Department. In terms of the resource allocation of the traditional project department, its share is infinitesimal. Mr. Abraham, that infinitesimal share you mentioned is my everything. You can try your luck on the Lawfu of the Xianzhou Alliance, where the Luminary War Dance is currently held. The people of Xianzhou have always prided themselves on their benevolence, and they have aided many planets ravaged by the denizens of abundance. Uh, perhaps they might lend you a helping hand? However, my child, I must remind you that the Xianzhou Martial Contests are much more than simple cyberboxing. You turn down the prizes and rewards you could have had just to talk to me for ten minutes. Please at least take my sincerest wishes with you when you leave. <laughs> 
Miss Chinche, are you all right? <laughs> I I'm fine. I just feel a bit blue after watching it. Hey, it happened a long time ago. You're right. Ching Chue, don't be sad. It's just history. But the fact that it's history makes it even sadder. Ikor grasped at every tiny sliver of hope for someone to rescue his home world. When the name Sienjo Alliance was mentioned, I imagined things unfolding like this. The Cloud Knights went to Urelo 6 as reinforcements and eliminated the Ruin Legion. And the people of Urelo 6 emerged from the crisis. <sighs> Even without the records of what happened afterward, we know very well that things did not pan out that way. Ikor's last hope, the Sienjo Alliance, did not come to his world's rescue. All his efforts were in vain. No, Miss Qingche. He didn't fail. Igor Haft later returned to Urillo 6 and fought against the Antimatter Legion on the front line. He, along with many others like him, preserved the desolate city of Bellabog with their flesh and blood. The fact that I can participate in the war dance to fight for my home today shows that he didn't fail. Those who sacrificed their lives 700 years ago didn't fail either. You're right. If Igor could see how impressive you are on the war dance stage, he would definitely be very proud. It's a pity we don't know how Igor performed at the war dance back then. I went to the repository really? the other day and did some digging. 700 years ago was not too long ago. But it was a turbulent era. The aftermath of the Second Denizens of Abundance War still lingered, and the sedition of Imbibador Lune soon followed. I couldn't even find a complete list of contestants, and I didn't see Igor's name anywhere. It's okay. Even though this ancient legend is no longer known, I can still create a new legend myself. My fist. I'll rewrite Igor's story in the war dance's ring. Just you wait and see. Yeah, we look forward to it. Can't wait. <clears throat> no. What's happening? Okay. Oh wait. Door, I guess.
Oh, did I put him in slot one? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Imagine. VIP, don't let me down. The beauty is eternal. Eternal. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Protect, protect me. Till I see, I will protect all beauty. For a trip. Bending the rule. Time to suffer. <coughs> What they didn't die. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. We? There's no backing up now, for me or you. Come here, pawn. Get stepped on. Yes. Till I see that light once more. May I want to see this thing? I will protect all beauty in the universe. I don't know, we feel like a gentle soft and it's just like Loki kinda cool. We have there's no backing up now for me or you. Time to suffer. Okay. Some value, I suppose. Time to suffer. See that light once more. I will protect all beauty. For a trip. We have a deal. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Who's the little backstab? Till I see that light once more. I will protect all once beauty. Once more. For a trip. Come here, pawn. Time to suffer. Wait. Till I see, I will protect all beauty for a trip. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Till I see that light once more, I will protect all beauty for a drink. We have a deal. There's no backing out now for me or you. Who's the little backstabber? Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Till I see, I will protect all beauty. For a trip. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. We? There's no backing out now. Goodbye. For me or you. I don't know if they do the like that. This thing, yeah. Foxy and Samantha. Okay.
small. I like that. Okay, I can do a jingle you blade. Um Does she need the speed? No. Wait, that's kind of sad. Oh. Low key. Existence is unity. Converge and awaken. Blade of moonlight. I failed to send you. All will be revealed in lunar flame. Blame. Monk. All will be swept away by the wind. <clears throat> A quick divination. <laughs> Human creations. Just use it just in case. Your end approaches. You poo. No matter. Fail to send you. That paradise may be unreachable for me. Savor it in my place. Hm. Name. Blade is also cool. Too little. There's every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. All things in the human creations. <laughs> All will be revealed in lunar flame. Yin and Yang. That paradise may be unreachable for me. Savor it for me. <laughs> so edgy. All will be revealed 
in lunar flame. Now I wish Jinglu could do that. Some of us. Damn. Yeah, I'm interested as well. Check this out. Is she a fugitive? It's like acting kind of weird. I don't think I've collected everything here, did I? Yeah, I didn't. I forgot about this map. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Sam in position. I'm so 
Take your positions. Dream was he gonna come kill everyone in this month? Grace and elegance. Existence is unity. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Every petal. Oh, can't be sure they end all this against his enemies, but. Like fireflies. I'm so everything. Burns to ashes. Firefly, fight to live. Enjoying yourself. Wait, what? This is more than a battle. It didn't break. On what planet? Are these robots not breaking? Firefly type fight to land! Yeah. Let's improvise. Some value, I suppose. <laughs> the truth for everything in this world is bleeding. Damn. Oh, I didn't expect to be in this place. Damn. Oh, they're like bad people. Oh hell no. The mood is set, let the show begin. How dare you? He will die. May the foul stench dissipate quickly. Yeah. Let's improvise. Some value, I suppose. Existence is unity. Like I'm so everything. Burns to ashes! This is more set to the sea. Wait, Red, I'm so stupid. Five hundred of the light cone. It's so obviously you're doing way less damage. In it. <laughs> I was wondering, like, how these guys survive it? No way.
And it's kind of interesting, low key. Hmm. Yeah, not chill, no. That's interesting. He appeared as deceased now. Hmm. What? Where? Oh, yeah, you can turn the shit around, I forgot. So they're doing the thing. Yep. Like this means.
emergency situation. All prison personnel are instructed to abide by the established procedures and act without delay. That's, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of that let the show begin? crazy, bro. Allow me to purge the root of the problem. Yeah. Did the rhythm get messed up? Dreams do come true. Some value of existence is unity. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Do we have to kill them? To ashes. This is more than a battle. Set to the sea, so Fight to live! The truth burns everything in this world. It's bleeding. May the foul stench dissipate quickly. <laughs> Did the rhythm get messed up? Let's improvise. There's more to life. <laughs> Stay away. Set to the sea, go play! Old.
Damn, hey, bro, that, that story was low key. It was. Damn. Wow, that was. Or something. <laughs> like I was just chatting though. Yeah. That was a great interaction. Loki needed after that mission. Damn. Crazy. Damn, damn, damn. They shall view the new. The new. More of that and more of this and let's go. It's like I'm losing brain cells. <laughs> That they're not dying from that. Blood said that kind of tickles. Sure. Be of your body and mind. The truth burns clear as of everything in this world. It's fleeting. It's fleeting. May song bring us victory. <laughs> oh, what's that? So cringe. Stars echo. <laughs> Easy, Numbi. Venture forth to hunt forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! Allow me to purge the root of the problem. Time to cleanse the field. I won't do it. in this world is bleeding. The mark 
record is on right. Investing in victory means playing the long game. I venture All right, it's time to die. Not bad. After fighting in so many knock out stages, I think our points should be enough. Okay, so who's this guy? Splitter's leaderboard to confirm her ranking. Looks like I've got enough points. Okay, time to get fired up. Serious are an arm. After this match, I'll be up against Yen Ching in the Ringmaster's Challenge. I thought I'd be really nervous, but I don't have the jitters at all. I get you. I felt the same way for my 75th round of interviews with Inner Astral Peace Entertainment. 75 rounds? See, it's fortunate we didn't join the IPC system. Let's not dwell on that. How about we check out your next opponent? Don't be too sure about that. It might turn out to be another old friend of yours. Again. <laughs> this contestant is quite mysterious. Ooh. I what looked him be? up and found out that he always wore a heavy cloak in his previous matches. So his face was concealed. That's in one of those. Ooh, so mysterious. But it doesn't matter. Because now I'm gonna step into the ring and see just how strong this iron arm is for myself. Sure. This will surely be a great match, Luca. Are you ready to be crowned as the king of the iron arms? Ha! <laughs> I already am the king of the iron arms. You sure are. Let's hit the road, king of the iron arms. Okay. Um where am I? <clears throat> Here. I never should be the same. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Cool and follow up and this and that cool. Gonna be Huli? Or Feixiao? Look! Why didn't I think of you? What? <laughs> Tiggertron is in an iron arm? Wait, it's Varog? Silly Luca! <laughs> just, just kidding! Since That's that was the data sampling. I think in the war dance. Contestant Iron Arm must be. The two fighters in the ring right now are remarkably similar in many ways. The first contestant comes from Bellabog, Luca Stronger. The other contestant is also from Bellabog, Sparog Iron Arm. These two contestants from Bellabog are each other's final hurdle before advancing to the ringmaster's Now Luca can beat him because he wasn't able to end the story mission. What if we look on the bright side? We can see that no matter who wins this match, Bellabog will have a representative qualified to challenge the Lofu's ringmaster. I must apologize to you, Luca, for participating in the war dance anonymously and keeping you in the dark. You don't believe I can win. So you came here to boost the chances of Team Bellabog winning the war dance, right? This isn't about what I believe, Luca. This is a matter of calculation. Mathematically speaking, your chance of winning is low. But Bellabog really needs this win. Thus, I entered the competition. This ensures that regardless of who emerges victorious, Bellabog will earn recognition. <laughs> this stings a little, but I get it. Pitch Dark Cook the Great, 
Come clean. Did you know about this right from the start? Um, sorry. Svarog said you would be sad if I told you the truth. So I kept it a secret. <sighs> What's next, Svarog? Is it Belabogian against Belabogian? It seems there is no other choice. I didn't manage to beat you previously. <laughs> Mathematically speaking, I'm afraid I'll suffer the same fate this time. Your calculation is erroneous, Luca. Mathematically speaking, your chance of winning is unknown. There is a variable that I have yet to ascertain, so it's impossible to draw any conclusions. Variable? Your improvement. I am an outdated robot. No matter how many pull-ups I do, it only wears down my joints. I will not grow stronger. However, you are different. With each experience, you will continue to grow stronger. You might be right, but... Well, this is kind of embarrassing to say, but I'm not sure if I've improved or not. Hence my assessment. We should face each other here. Luca, you need to defeat me. No problem, Svarog. This is nice. Bring it on! I'll do all the match. Again, I'd like to remind you that I won't make this easy for you. Please be careful. Like, back in the day in 1.0. holding back, Svarog! I think I can do this. <laughs> Fangs and claws got dull. Never hesitate. I won't do. I don't know if that was good. The truth burns everything in this world. It's bleeding. May the foul stench dissipate quickly. Be of your body and mind. May song bring us victory. <laughs> Go, Nubby! What am I doing? The market is unfair. I didn't use oh, the ultimate. <laughs> You're falling apart on your own. I venture forth to forever. Triumphant! Ta, ta, ta. Victory is inevitable! I venture for forever. Triumphant! Ta, ta. Victory is inevitable! Time to cleanse the field. What am I doing? Get a skill point? It doesn't make any difference. I venture forth forever. Triumph! Check. Victory is inevitable! Wait, where did Nami go? Why did he go so far back? Okay. Oh, he recharged already. So many hands. Wait, I don't have fire break. Huh. Time to cleanse the filth. Module overload. The truth burns clear as a flame. Everything in this world. Oh, this is interesting. It's bleeding. Fear. 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 Fear.
victory. Okay, well, let's do this. I hope for an end to strike. And she the comes world. back, and then I do this. And I do this. Nice. Wow, I actually used a properly for this. Crazy. I venture forth to hunt. Forever. Triumphant! This was like Loki the easiest fight so far. Chance to challenge the ringmaster, Luca Stronger. Luca, do you hear the cheers? You won. <laughs> Svarag, you didn't go easy on me, did you? No, I didn't. You defeated me fair and square. Get some rest. You're up against the ringmaster of the Lafu next. Svarag, <clears throat> based on your calculations, do you think I can beat Yanqing? The result of my calculations holds no importance to you. You need to step into the ring and experience the battle yourself. That's what matters more to you. Cool. Got it. I'll do whatever it takes. Hey, okay. At the press conference. Okay. No. Why are you giving me all of these options? Yeah, I want to do her, Carmelacus. I want her to get a promotion. Basically, no. Ah, oh, no. Who do I take? Ah, go knife and I can't. I didn't mess that one up too badly. And I have one more like series of quests. Hopefully. Nice. <laughs> Sold out a red die overnight. Interesting. Luca's going to challenge Yenqing soon. I should join him in the lounge to make sure he's ready. Wow, a source just informed me that General Jing Yuan himself will be present for the upcoming Ringmaster's challenge. Huh? The general is such a busy man. Mr. Luca, know your worth. You're far from being a nobody now. The most popular <laughs> war dance contestant from another planet is challenging his disciple. Uh, this is so stressful. I can't embarrass Bellabog in front of General Jing Yuan. Uh, 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 I feel like my heart is about to 
burst out of my throat. Uh, um, uh, being too nervous might affect your performance. How no. about a bottle of Sweet Dream Soda? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Right. I shouldn't drink that. Ah, how about this? Let's go watch someone else's match, shall we? According to the schedule, the current match is... The current match is... Between Boot Hill and Yen Ching. Oh, that sounds wow. interesting. Let's go. You need some fresh air. Yeah, let's, I, I want to see that. Quickly. Go. Go, 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 go. What an intense battle. If I had hands that could sweat, they'd be drenched by now. Still, I wonder why Mr. Boothill suddenly decided to holster his gun and forfeit the match. Was he intimidated by Yin Xing's swords? Or was he forced to leave because he's wanted by the IPC? Regardless, I hereby declare the winner of the match, the Low Fools Ring Master Yin Xing! Okay. Oh, we're too late. Looks like we'll have to catch the replay later on. Oh, son of a fudge. Now, that boy is strong. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. You all come to see my match. Oh, too bad. Those little IPC fudgelings are on my tail. Fudgelings. Tell it out of here. And I hightail it out of here. I gotta say, your original iron arm looks good. But you know, uh, no matter how tight the schedule, there's always room for a goodbye. Before I head out, uh, let me buy you a cup of tea. Deuce Tea House and Arm Alley has some mighty fine fudging tea. Mm, fiery, just the way we like it. Us grown men need it strong and kicking. Fudge yeah. Fudge yeah. No way. You're wanted by the IPC. How can I trust you to take him out for tea? Camera girl. I don't even mind that you're one of them little IPC fudgelings. Yet here you are, acting all fork and judgmental. Trailblazer, Miss Carmella, please don't worry about me. I believe Boot Hill means no harm. I'll be back soon. gonna happen diggity buzz what kind of man you take me for well i don't know actually <laughs> uh not this place Mr. boot hill welcome please take a seat hey isn't this the Luca strong arm that everyone's been talking about it's a pleasure to have two distinguished guests here today uh, what can I get for you? Just let me know. I'm fixing to leave the Lafu, so uh, give me a send off with a cup of that single malt strong tea you only get on the Sienjo. As for him, uh, he's about to face a tough battle, so uh, fix him up a glass of hero spirit. No problem. I'll be right back. No problem. The vibe of this place is similar to Bellabog. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. I'm buying you drinks for two reasons. I want to apologize to you. That's the first. My intention was to test your resolve. But threatening a competitor with life and death was a bit over the line. I'm real sorry. If you drink this cup of tea, it means you forgive me. Okay? I learned a lot from that match against you, Mr. Boothill. Actually, I should be thanking you for that. Okay, glad you ain't mad. Now let's get to the second reason. I think you should pull out of the competition. Uh, that's out of the question. I won't back down. Just like how I faced your gun last time. I'm leaving not just because time's running out for me, but partly because of that ringmaster too. This kid's young, but he's got some serious skills. Facing him will take too long, and there's no guarantee of winning. It ain't worth getting caught by those forking IPC hounds over a competition. You're different. 
You always have the choice to leave. The whole cosmos knows about you and Bellabog now, so you've already achieved your goal. No one will blame you if you withdraw now. But if you step into the ring, you'll be crushed. You get what I'm saying? I understand. But I'm still gonna step into the ring and throw a punch. Win or lose, the outcome isn't the only thing that matters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed, kid. Oh, you're testing my resolve again. Oh, I almost fell for your trap. Yeah. Dog, my whoa, booze, you're forking sharp, boy. <laughs> mm. You remind me of a friend, a girl called Rappa. She said in her own ways, just like you. <laughs> is she as weak she as me? Well, can you crush a star with your bare hands? What? Uh, can she? <laughs> she can't. But she always insists that she can. <laughs> ah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Holy forkaroni. She's really strong. Okay, okay. Uh, this guy, he thinks he's so bad. It's getting late. The match with Yen Qing is starting soon. I wonder if Luca's back. Let's see whether he's in the lounge. Can't Yo. The match is about to start. Stay calm, Luca. Just. And that's going to be in the history books. Right. Regardless of how the Ringmaster's challenge transpires, you've already made a mark in Bella Boggy in history. That's exactly what makes me feel like I'm dreaming. Uh, in fact, the biggest takeaway from this trip to the Luo Fu is that it made me realize something. I don't fight to gain or prove anything. I don't even do this for the sake of winning. Whenever I throw my punches, I feel like I'm the happiest man in the cosmos. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Even though I don't fully understand it, I'm still pleased to witness your growth. Well, it's time for you to get ready for the final battle. Okay. Let's check this out. It was a Medellin. Uh, okay. It took me so long to realize that Japard, Argenti, Boot Hill, Svarog, and Mr. Tail were all trying to tell me the same thing. Oh. Does this mean I've got one foot in the realm of the strong now? Huh. A little bit. Maybe it's the mentality that makes you strong. Luca, are you ready to challenge Yen Qing? Are you ready? Let's go. It's party time. I've been ready for a long time. How long? Wow, I'm not even ready yet. You're a robot. What are you talking about? Okay, when let's break to gain a massive amount of vibes. Break damage. So Firefly? Yes. My favorite. Uh how's this team again? Oh yeah. This guy, this guy, and this guy. And this guy, let me check. Change the light cone because that one is trash. Otherwise everything is fine. Change the light cone with this one. Yep, and then everything else is fine. Yep, you're fine and you're fine. Wait, are you fine? Yeah, you're fine. Cool. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and these things. Man, I always forget. It's so annoying. Alright, Yang Qing. Let's see. So it's gonna be awkward because he already met Yang Qing, but he didn't know if he was Yang Qing. So let's see. Mr. Luca, we meet again. Wow. Uh, how is this possible? You're... You're Lung Fung. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for not revealing my name previously. I'm the LaFu's ringmaster, Yen Ching. Mr. Luca, I've had my eye on you these past few days. You weren't aware, but I was in the crowd watching all your matches. No. I must say, 
You're a formidable warrior. You're resilient, sharp, and strong. What's even more impressive is your resolve. Every punch you throw shows a courage that doesn't care about winning or losing. That yeah, he's pretty cool, yeah. Deep impression on me. I've heard about what happened to your planet, so I understand how you need this win. Just one more step, and you'll take Bellabog's name into the history books with you. True. But as the Lafu Ringmaster, there are things I must uphold. I don't have a stirring pre-battle speech, Yanqing. Uh, thanks uh, how is Yan Ching like canon canonically stronger Eddie, than Boothill? That's crazy. For me these last few days. And it's thanks to all of you that I'm here now. Still remember the lofty aspirations we I look at which after all of these stories that they actually buffed Yan Ching. If he's like that OP in the story. I, Luca, will be the winner. I will defeat Yan Ching. <laughs> Let's go. Who has finally arrived in front of Yen Xing after overcoming numerous hurdles. Since the beginning of the war, okay, if I didn't have money on this match though, I think I would do 75-25 to Yan Xing. <laughs> but there ain't no way look at winning anything. Come on. Yeah, this was like a team thing, then maybe it could be like the pop-up friendship, but he's by himself. In game, right? Oh my god. Now watch out with the stars gifts. Imagine. Okay. Anyone who qualifies for the ringmaster's challenge is a respectable warrior. You're a top-notch boxer. Just like I'm a top-notch swordsman. The outcome of this match isn't going to change that. Yen Ching, I'll give it my all to defeat you. Likewise. You know, meta-wise though, they're like similar in strength. It's kind of crazy actually. And is this version of Yen Ching? Okay. Okay, different mechanics though. Okay. Ah, okay, I get it. I can't really use a skill. Let's improvise. The mood is set, let the show begin. It's one of the catchiest techniques, or you probably can, but like you have to do it like way before, right? But like, fuck that. Like fighting to everything burns to ashes. Fight to live. I. F can I AO? Can I use a skill to get a bunny up? I think so. A little bit. I'll wait on that since you can load like a second one, right? I'll keep going. I don't need to use it yet. I think I'm the one that gives energy, right? I don't remember. <laughs> I should have probably paid attention. Okay. The truth burns everything in this world. It's bleeding. It's fleeing. Time to cleanse the film. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Let's improvise. Super break. Some value, I suppose. Bro, 
Harmony MC, like... It's kind of crazy. I wonder what's gonna happen. Uh, okay, I'll wait a little bit. Oh, that's that was nice. May the foul stench dissipate quickly. Can I do another AOE? Hold up. Yeah, I think so. I don't know, I didn't look that much into the future. Everything in this world is bleeding. Bro, 98 shields. Okay, so something's gonna happen at some point. Allow me to purge the root of the problem. Oh, I wanna advance forward. I see. Time to cleanse the fill. I did not know. Dreams do come true. There's more to life. Existence is unity. This is more than a battle. Well, this is annoying. The is set. Let the this, uh, uh, being in this team. Actually, using Sword so many skill evening. points. Punish evil. But, like, I don't even know if. Like, is this full up that good for the super break? Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Like, if you don't use the full up, then she's basically Make just Gallagher. <laughs> like, what's the point? She bad. Be of your body and mind. Maybe just bad. Yo, look, she may just be bad in this fight because you actually can break this guy's shield. At this point, anyway. The truth burns clear. Everything in this world is bleeding. Stay in step. Let's improvise. Some value, I suppose. <laughs> Time to cleanse the fill. Dreams do come true. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Yeah. There's more to life. Allow me to purge the root of the problem. Be of your body and mind. Oh, where's my vibe? Why is it taking so long to go up? I'm breaking this guy's like shield every second. Full HP. Uh oh. Your swords are so tough. My iron arm has gone kaput. Ooh. In this case, I'll stop using my swords. Let's decide who the winner is with our bare fists. Yeah, you can't do that. Or it's gonna be like a cutscene. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I saw you said it was broken. Nah, he's cheating a little. Damn. And even Topa spread it. Alright, alright, alright. That's a good ending. But cousins in the game looks so good actually. Kinda thing. crazy. I don't need a victory like this. Because I have no problem accepting defeat. No, you aren't defeated. Let's go. Okay. Can't you hear? Everyone's cheering for you, Luca. I think that in their minds, someone like you could never be considered defeated. <laughs> Such a moving battle! 
<sighs> Thanks, Yinqing. In a true fight, does losing even matter? Winning and losing are part of any match. But I gave it my all, and I did it! I kept throwing punches, punch after punch, until the very end. When I go back to Bellabog, there will be another fight waiting for me in the future, and many more battles to come. <sighs> Archie, I tried my best. Why are we going like back you? to the story every time? What? Oh my god, so depressing. Expect my war dance journey would end in this way. I've never felt so at ease. I think it's time to pack up my things and head home with Lynx and the others. Sorry for disturbing your rest, Mr. Luca. General Jing Yuan would like to meet. The celebrity. Oh Please my god. Make your way to the seat of divine foresight. Can I come? But I lost the match. Is the general really interested in meeting? Why is he gonna give him a Jada Bacchus or something? As a Skyfaring Commission staff member, I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that question. Moments later. Hello, Luca from Bellabog. It is a pleasure to meet you, General Jingyuan. It's my honor to meet you. But I'm not quite sure why you summoned me here to the seat of divine foresight. Because of that exciting match earlier. And also because you're the second war dance contestant from Yurilo in the past 700 years. Do you mean... Uh, have you by any chance heard of Igor Haft? <laughs> Igor. What a nostalgic name. I know him, but... Actually, I should say I will always remember him. You and he are two of a kind. General, do you know about Igor's experience on the Shinzo? In our hometown, many of us have heard of Igor Haft's heroic tale, but we don't know what he really went through during his journey beyond the sky. Please, you have to tell me his story. <sighs> that was over 700 years ago. At that time, I was young and also serving as the mm, warden. Yeah. So the Yang Ching and you kind of having like the same. Igor. A tall relationship, and I guess? red haired boxer appeared in the ring. Every swing of his fist felt like it carried the weight of an entire world. He had a peculiar habit after finishing a match. While turning down all the prizes and gifts, he would talk about his homeland's plight to the spectators, warning them of the antimatter legion's attacks as he sought help from those who were capable. Well, you should have listened to those warnings. Just like that? 700 Come years later, and now we're here. And finally stood before me. Much like how you faced Yan Ching. He threw his punches Divine and sacks, foresight. matching me blow for blow. But as the fight was nearing its end, he suddenly stopped and left the arena. Igor, the Alliance leaders have listened to your tale and your homeland struggles. Many Cloud Knights feel sympathy for your situation. Is there anything more than sympathy? They are unable to send forces. We've received a warning signal from the Yao Qing, meaning a major conflict between the Xianzhou and the denizens of abundance is imminent. I understand. Thank you, Jing Yuan. Where will you go next? I'm headed home, because my home needs me. I thought I would surely find a way to rescue it. Yeah. Or at least... Someone in this vast cosmos would 
hear my plea for help. Uh, and I was wrong. Urelo 6's tragedy is insignificant. Disasters unfold in every corner of the universe. If not here, then there. If not today, then tomorrow. <laughs> People have grown accustomed to the disappearance of insignificant stars in the sky. While I've been fighting here, my family and friends are bleeding to death because of the Antimatter Legion's invasion. With every fist I threw, their hopes dimmed a little more. It's time for me to go back now. If a child cannot fight to protect his mother when she needs it, <laughs> what right does he have to call himself her son? See you again, Jingyuan. No. Considering my age, I don't think we will be seeing each other again. Hey. I wish you victory, Igor. You too, Jingyuan. If the opportunity arises, <laughs> I'd love to fight you again. <laughs> I'm coming back, mother. I've come out on top in all my fights. But this time, victory is out of my reach. The war dance is held to foster friendships through combat arts. However, I was just a Cloud Knight lieutenant at that time, powerless to change anything. I couldn't even utter any words of solace as I watched his despondent silhouette grow smaller. And just like that, he left. Time flew by, and then, in the blink of an eye, three hundred years had passed. Oh? Pardon my interruption, General. What was the name of the world you just mentioned? Let's send an invitation to that world called Eurelo 6 for the war dance this year. Hopefully, his descendants will respond. General, the astral charts of the Skyfaring Commission indicate that this world has been destroyed. <laughs> General? <laughs> send an invitation. Even if it is just a wish that won't come true. So, this is why we received that invitation? <laughs> Igor gifted me a keepsake before he left. Uh, is this...? <laughs> we took this picture before we parted ways. Despite feeling crestfallen that day, <laughs> he still kept a smile on his face. <sighs> now... I'd like to give something to his descendant in return for his gift. 700 years ago, I didn't have the chance to help his home. But it's still not too late for me to step in. Oh my god. With the Everwinter Monument oh, this game, as our bro. Oh my god. Anya Rand hereby announced that the Sienjo Lafu Bellabog Mutual Trade Agreement is now in effect. I've heard stories about Bellabog, where the residents, in their most desperate times, steadfastly maintained the spirit of the preservation, resisting fate until the break of dawn. Damn. It wasn't until I stepped onto this A land here as myself it's actually like... and felt the burn of the perpetual ice on my skin that I finally realized how solemn the belief of the present. It's crazy that this game came out one and a half years ago. How great like, the people struggling there yeah. are. Like it already feels like nostalgic. That's crazy. From today onward, the Sienjo Lawfu fights along. It's like it's like so nice. You see, like all the shit happening. The turns all this progress and stuff. Breeze. And the frozen land melts into fertile fields. By the museum. My old friend. Damn. You once expressed your desire to be a long That's crazy, species. no? <laughs> because we had a longer lifespan. 
You thought we would have more time to grow, rectify mistakes, and change the future. You were wrong, Igor. The next punch is always what matters most. For our world, the future is what truly matters. We don't just appear out of nowhere. Each of us comes from the world that was there before we were born. People are like a giant tree, closely intertwined and ever-growing. People shape history. History creates heroes. Heroes inspire the future. And the future brings forth new people. My old friend. Your call for help back then has been answered. Luca is the answer. He isn't just a boy. Instead, he's as ancient as your civilization. And he's the embodiment of your real six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should have realized sooner. A civilization can give rise to someone like you wouldn't be easily wiped out I saw you're such a great voice actor bro. so much emotion that's crazy Mr. Depard are you ready I'm here to return that victory you lent me alright alright let's see war dance commemorative <sighs> Carmela Hello, tell me you got the promotion. Perfect timing, coach. Now that the war dance has ended and Luca has returned to Bellabog, it's time for me to go. You're actually a good NPC. I hope so. <laughs> but Mr. Albert keeps saying that I still lack experience, so I guess I'll have to gain more experience for a while longer. Uh, Albert is selfish. Honestly speaking, well, she should be on the next batch. Live stream. Dance with you have been the happiest of my life. Now that Luca is the hottest rising star in the whole cosmos, he'll definitely have w. lots of chances to participate in major tournaments in the future. When the time comes, I hope you'll still be his coach, and I'll still be in charge of covering your stories. By the way, oh. this is the issue of the newspaper that features the showdown between Luca and Yen Ching. I bought a hundred copies. This one's for you to keep. Oh, oh no, it's getting late. I'm about to miss my star skiff. I, I should get going. I'll see you next time. Of course. It's just a matter of time before he becomes the most dazzling champion in the cosmos. I've got a knack for reading people. Well, you better book some tickets to Bellabog then. Pretty soon. And must actually showcase their full dedication and exceptional skills. Although Luca, uh, go back. When I've succeeded in the challenge, the turn victory and please person in combat have won him applause and cheers from the entire arena. Nice. He was first place indeed. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy that this like this patch was more than 2.5 story. God, there's like so many good stories in this whole event. Oh my god. Give me money. Oh, we're saying goodbye again. No man, it's like 1.6. No, 1.5. Yeah, 1.4. I don't remember. One of those patches. Young Ching. Yeah, I love him in this voice. Please, 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 please. please.
Probably that the hero is last aboard. No, oh, because he has something else. Oh, they're all heading back. No, they are those today. I want to say goodbye to you. Thanks. Yo. Souvenir. Some one big soda. Get out of here. How can get survive that port? What do you have to say? Or well. It's a shame I've never got that deal. That's a raise. That's what that was. Man, this guy's blind. That's crazy. <laughs> We're actually over here. Nice, nice. Cool. True, true. Facial lessons, okay. You actually may get that buff at some point. A quick picture. And there it is. Just like that, the Yauching guests boarded their Starskiff and left the port. Indeed. Ooh. Yeah, later. Still like 
general though. Okay, these guys. Ah, uh, this is my sword and you can't have it. to go back quickly the medicus will be back incense ascends entwine Oh, these guys are still like sitting closer to each other. Nice. And just like that. Cool. What's next? The Argenti. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Hello. Not really, but okay. Disaster, Jingyu's confession, we didn't learn anything new. Okay. Yeah, everything was under control, kinda. I'm sure says I've saved the place. He keeps trying with QQ, man, but... Or... Or... I guess. It's the quick pick. That's right. Well, I'm not going to keep waiting around. Let's head out. See you later. What? Who? 
Oh. What? That's funny. The wrong port. Wait, if I go over there, will there be something? Hold up. Let's check quickly. Oh man, they actually just left. Cool. Man, ah, again, that was pretty good. That was kind of crazy. Some of the stories. Man. It's just so nice to see like Billabog do stuff. Ah, good story. Not bad. <laughs>